you guys have gone through some adversity. You were in the cellar at one point. Now you're in a potential uh, position to move in and forth with a win today. How important is this match to you guys? Every match we bowl is pretty much important. You know, we started off slow. A lot of injuries. A lot of guys not available. So we just got to try to work our way back. What's your thoughts on Murder Inc.? I mean, this is a team that you handled last year in the regular season. Well, they're a great team. Uh, they follow instructions. I gave them some instructions what to do. They went and did it. You see, they won a championship. They did. So you have two pedigree teams in the UBA. One that just is the current champion team, as you just said, and one that's been there a number of times already. What's your thoughts on this match? Uh, they're, they're a tough team. They're going to be uh, tough to beat for a long time. They're doing the right things. It's a great group of uh, guys. They are. Uh, anything you want to say? Any shout outs? Since, since I know you got a lot in your mind. It's just going to be a nice match. You know, a lot of talk and a lot of trash, but it's going to be a nice match. As usual, we'll come out on top. All right, you got it. Good luck. So, today's a good day to be here for myself. I get to watch Murder Inc. knock out one of their rivaling teams, three time GOATs. Speak about it. Well, it's going to be a fun match. Uh, it's going to be a loud match, probably. Fun, loud. A lot of shit talking going on. It's going to be fun. So, either way. So, um, I seen a video prior to where um, Lucky sat there and said, told Harding that he passed the season over to you guys. Right. And then you went and won last year. Correct. So now, do you still have the season to sit there and knock them out of contention this year? Easily. Easily. <laughs> Easily. So, how do you feel, Zoda? Who's going to be the weakest link today? Uh, on from from them. Uh, I can't find one. I don't know. It's, it's I don't think. Weird. I don't think I the garden. Found, I don't think the garden foundation has been happy ever since Mr. Happy has left. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> well, we shall see what happens they today. Back. They yeah. got to get Ray back to, to, to win again. I think they need Ray. We gotta go get the OGs. We gotta get Ray back to win. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, Bobo. You Thank Right now, Murder Inc.'s in third, Barter Foundation's in five. There's a gap in between. Now, Murder Inc. is 28 points out of first. Pocket takes after a bye this week, so first place is Pocket Takes.
Happy duck it. Can I have an answer to the uh Northeast Heavyweight Champion? Yeah, currently still on the list trying to get my way back, but it ain't gonna happen no time soon. I gotta go through fishing. You gotta go through fishing? Yeah. It might it, it could possibly at one point in time be one, two, and three all cynical. No, Cindy. Because Keith has the belt, and then I am currently number uh, six, and then I have a guy who's just started, got on the list at number ten. So we just moving on up. We want to just. as always. Great big camera there. Might want to watch the feet. Starting five, five, four, three. This is Gordon Pepper, and welcome to a fantastic Saturday UBA morning matchup. I am joined by a former Northeast World Championship Series heavyweight champion, Mr. Ducky Russell. What? what? Or in other words, Ducky! What up, Gordon? How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing here? Uh, doing all right. I heard this match was uh, worth <laughs> Worth the drive, so here we go. Uh, it's definitely worth the drive. You have two premier teams of the UBA. You have two teams that have won Battle Bowl and have won the Wilder Trophy. And one of them is the current Wilder Trophy champions. That is Murder, Inc. They're going up against the Garden Foundation, a team that won their division, New Jersey Northwest, last year. Except when they came up against each other in the playoffs, it was Murder, Inc. that won that match, and they went all the way up to win the title. Yep. Gordon, this is going to be the most intense culture viewing that you're going to get. Uh, this, this is going to be one of the craziest matches that you're going to see with a number three team and a number five team. Right now, Murder Inc. doing what they've been doing. They're currently in third. Top four teams make the playoffs. They're pretty safe. Garden Foundation, however, not having the Garden Foundation season, they are currently in fifth. And right now, there are eight points out of the fourth and final playoff spot. A loss here against one of their rivals, and they could be in big trouble trying to make the playoffs. I don't remember his name, but they said there said that the Garden Foundation's always been down here, and they know at the end of the day that they have to finish the job. That they, would be they Lydell will, Lucky James who yes. said that. So they, they, he sat there and said that they've been here before and they will be in the playoffs seeing everybody and working their way back into the contention hunt. Well, that's one of the things that Garden Foundation is doing. And right now, while everybody's setting up and getting ready to bowl, let's go through the lineups. Garden Foundation, and, and I'll explain how the game works momentarily, but let's talk lineups. Garden Foundation on the scratch side, Alex Cavaniero, Robert Mockenhop, Rusty Thompson, 
Handicap pair number one, Brian Spencer, Jim Hosier, Brent Tishuk. Handicap pair number two, Jonathan Adams, Altari Hooper, Emmanuel Gonzalez. Now, if you're asking yourself, wait, that doesn't sound like a handicap lineup at all. I, that was my line right there. I was literally going to say, you said handicap one and handicap two. This is scratch one, scratch two, scratch three. <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> the lowest average on the Garden Foundation is 224. Now going to Murder Inc. Where the lowest average, by the way, is only a 220. On the scratch side, Derek Smith, Nick, Nicholas Capagnelli, Dejan Bush Smith. Second side, handicap one, Joe Prentice, Craig Primus Jr., Najee Myers. And on the last pair, Nicholas Dewickis, Nicholas Stewicki, pardon me, Christopher Brigantino, and Halo Wright III. Again, this is promises to be a huge, high octane matchup. And basically, you've got to carry. If you don't strike in this match, you lose. Yeah. Ducky, talk to me about it. This match is uh, going to definitely be the strike fest. It's great for the UBA TV to see this. As you see, Mac is throwing, starting off right in the middle. Yeah, Joe Prentice starting off with a strike, going over the scratch. It's going to be nothing but strike. So far, so good. Handicap side, we have a nine spare. Uh oh. And I, and I say, uh-oh, jokingly, but uh-oh, actually, because, again, right now it's 224 average. Spares are not going to cut it, and opens are definitely not going to cut it. We're seeing that already from Brian Spencer in the first spot. Now, let me go over Brian Spencer for one second. When Garden Foundation won at Battle Bowl, Brian Spencer shot an 889 series. He shot 300 in the first game, 300 in the second game, and at the front, 10 in the third. If this is the firepower Garden Foundation is bringing out, you know how badly they want this matchup. Yeah. If you ask Brian, if you ask Brian, he sit there and said he would just he would just come out here and just helping his team. No, no need to sit there and, and brag about anything. He's definitely the answer for a reason. Well, he's the answer for a reason right now. No answers for Garden Foundation uh, because they got a lot of spares on the board right now. They've got three spares and one open. Mock and Apple make a spare. That's good. However, if you look right now, Murder, Murder Inc., seven balls, seven strikes. Here's Craig Primus looking for strike number eight, and he's going to oh, not seven. get it, seven pin. I'm known, by the way, as a dark cloud for a reason. If I notice something in terms of a streak or that, that usually goes away and usually goes away viciously, as, as you're painfully aware of, Ducky. Poser right now looking to strike for Garden Foundation, and he won't get it either. Garden Foundation seems a little bit slow on the uptake here in Jersey Lanes. And, and again, it's only the first frame, but, and a big but here, this is gonna be a high, high scoring matchup. You've gotta come out of the gate with strikes, and or you're gonna be in trouble, and you definitely cannot be out of the gate with opens. So, Ducky, wh what are you thinking about this? Do you have a favorite in this? Who do you like? I mean, just looking at the, the, the chemistry and, and the vibe around here, I think Garner Foundation might speak it out, 2218. All right. Now, Garden Foundation 22-18 is good. The one thing they cannot, cannot, cannot do is get killed on this. There is a huge clump in fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh place right now in the New Jersey Northwest. You cannot afford to take a bad loss. Uh, the last match that we covered, uh, South Jersey Strike Force took a really bad loss, and that almost mathematically knocked them nice shot, out man. of contention. They cannot afford to do that. What Murder Inc. really would love to do is to knock out Garden Foundation, and right now, nine, nine bowlers, eight strikes, first frame. Post is looking down right now. Brent Tushuk is coming up in the first frame for Garden Foundation. He's the anchor on that squad. Manny Gonzalez anchoring over on Garden Foundation on the third pair. I'm not going to call him handicap because clearly there is not a lot of handicap here to go around. Wow, my pen. So now the question becomes what's going to happen in the second frame. Again, Murder Inc. can very quickly put a lot of ground between them and Garden Foundation. Scratch right now, lead off some matching, double strikes, double strikes. Brigantino right now, scratch pair looking to double up. That would give him a lead. There you go. So, he threw the ball so nonchalantly, like he just in a day. Yeah. Walking apart. It's just like, oh, well, <laughs> we're going to throw strikes. Nothing much going on here. Ducky, I'll, I'll lay the gauntlet out for you right now. You see all the strikes. Any 300s this game? This game, no. You don't think so? No. Okay. Uh, we'll see. Now, Garden Foundation over here. Here comes Spencer. And again, Spencer, the only bowler that's had an open in the first frame. Can he make up for it? Oh, wow. Four, Four pin. pin. Messenger. And again, looking at it now, technically there is handicap, 
Murder Inc. is getting 15 pins on the second pair. Guard Foundation's getting 11 pins on the third pair. And again, I'm going to call them pairs because there really is no handicap right now. I mean, how exactly are you going to consider this 220 average bullets a little bit in a handicap matchup at this moment? 224, 224, 229. Going up. Th those are the slackers. Like, <laughs> they're, they're slacking like, on the team. And they're getting 11 pins. Like, the Garner Foundation getting 11 pins. Like, what average is getting 224 and 229? <laughs> <laughs> That's true, actually. Let's quickly put this up here. Oh, uh, what are you, 15 oh. seconds. Yeah, so 677 average, and you're getting 11 pins. <laughs> That's nutty. Meanwhile, on the scratch side, right now, nothing but strikes for Murder, Inc. In the second pair, they have three doubles. Garden Foundation right now has two spares, so they're already going to be down by around 20, 30 pins. Kevin, you're right now is up. Actually, I'm sorry, Thompson right here is up, and so is Kevin Yara. Wow, nine pin. And, and again, this is a com this is not about marking or not marking. This is about carrying at this point. Garden Foundation finally gets a break. You see the first open for Murder, Inc. That one coming from Joe Prentice, who, of course, is right in front of us and can hear everything that we say. He was talking now. Joe Prentice was from the New Jersey uh, Central, so he's coming up here. Uh, Joe, what team were you on before coming up here? What team were you on before joining uh, Murder, Inc.? I've been on Murder, Inc. all along. From uh, when we left Asylum and we formed Murder, Inc., I'm one of the original members. Even though I moved south, I still, like Corey, Corey moved south, right? we're still original members. All right, now, what do, you, what do you think needs to happen here for you guys to win? Because right now I'm seeing a bunch of red numbers on this middle pair. Just got to focus. Just got to get focus, make good shots, have fun. Have fun is the biggest part. I wish you good luck. Right now, we're looking at Brian Spencer and Joe Prentice. Right now, the only bowlers that have opened in this match. And that's going to be the key How's right the now. Left? Right now, seven strikes in a row for Murder, Inc. on the scratch pair. Ducky, what's going on on scratch? Look, they're striking. <laughs> well, besides the striking. I mean, you again, have, what you're saying, it, it, there's, you not, have, there's not looking like a struggle here. It's looking very methodical in nature. Yeah. Um, so, on one aspect, you expect that. On another aspect, it's sort of scary about how smooth everybody is. Oh. And meanwhile, Garden Front, uh oh. Five. So, right right now, we got a little mini bucket from Jim the Hose Hosier. Hey, we're going to have to go back and edit that okay, one because he just did a little hop hop coming up there with a 2 4 5 dance. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit now now uh, again this is the caliber of bowlers that you have here Jim Hosier or the host he's like to be called is a Hall of Famer a lot of these bowlers have been on the PBA tour a number of these bowlers have cast on the UBA tour that's now eight strikes in a row on murder Inc on the scratch side Mush as we like to call him Dejan Il Mushe Smith right now he's wearing the black Mamba jersey but we all know him as Mush Mush is making a look this uh, to make this nine in a row on the scratch side for murder Inc Oh, this is going to make the spare. Fair enough. I, I'm going to expect that Mush is going to make this. What do you think? Nine in a row? Yes. Right nine? I mean, that, that could be that could be your 300 that you were looking for. Oh, there's they... right nine. If they do it again on the fourth, you're right. <laughs> It'll be a 300. So, and the scary thing is this again. Mush up. Uh, Lux looks good to me, and it is. Mush is known for that sauntering style that he did. He's, he's always under the lights, and he's always got those legs moving. Again, Mush, one of the key pieces of Murder, Inc.'s 2022 championship run last season. And again, that's you interviewed him earlier. He, he, had, he had no voice that day. Yeah, during, now, during the championship, I mean, he, he was all over the place, throwing the ball well, doing the, the lunges. Mm -hmm. like He was lunging. Derek Smith, can he make a 10 in a row on scratch? Yes, he can. Two away from 300 on the scratch side, so to speak. Now, I don't even want to bring this up yet. You know, like you never talk about a picture with a perfect game. The, but I will bring it up anyway because, hey, that's my nature. The highest Alex. scratch score in terms of a game is 879. Two 300s and a 279. Ooh. What are the odds? Uh, oh, no. Brian Spencer again with the potential open. That is two out of three for Garden Foundation. Garden Foundation the looking highest, like they're in the hole early. The highest scratch? The highest scratch time. game, 879. And, and, I, and I notate that because of what we're seeing right here on the scratch side. That's 11 in a row. Bringing Tina right there uh, with number 11. And if Mush comes up, we're going to be looking at 12 in a row. 
Well, here comes the dark cloud. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, that 879 series by the BC crew. For anybody taking notes. And right now, um, Garden Foundation. Well, you have Alex Tavernero carrying like he is, however, nobody else is. He is the only person right now on Garden Foundation, not only with the front four, he's the only person on Garden Foundation right now that even has three in a little, let alone four. Prentice right now looking to avoid matching Brian Spencer with opens. It looks like he'll make the spare, he does. But let's focus on the scratch pair, looking at potentially 12 in a row, which right now has got the ball. This is, I guess, a UBA 300. Not a real 300, at least not yet. Here's a shot. Uh -oh. That ball looks good uh -oh. to me. A little light gets it. 12 in a row for Murder Inc. on the scratch side. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And right making it look easy. He's, they're all making it look easy. <laughs> Derek Smith making it look easy. Brigantino look, make it look easy. Rusty Thompson Rusty. making it look easy, except right now. They're Murder, down 41. They're down 41. At least now everybody's on doubles, but they're down 41 early on scratch. On handicap pair number one, I don't even know why I'm calling it handicap pair at this point. But Murder Inc. is up by 30. And right, on the third up. pair. Nice shot. That's a nice shot. That's a big right, double right there. That's the first double from anybody that's not in an anchor spot or on scratch. That one from Craig Primus. The G Myers right now looking to make a three in a row on the second pair. Because why are we calling it handicap at this point? There's no handicap pair at this moment. And third pair. The, the only one now, Murder Inc., by the way, represented by ABC. Garden Foundation represented by DEF. Uh, right now, Garden Foundation is up a little bit. They're up by around 25 on the on the third pair. But right now, Murder Inc. is in control. Here's Derek Smith right now going on a scratch, looking for five in a row. Nobody has made a mistake on the scratch side for Murder Inc. Tisha Crack now looking to double. He will. Going in. Ah. Stony. Nah. Oh, well, you knew that wasn't going to last forever, especially <laughs> if I'm doing commentary. Eight pin. You, you can say it now, Ducky. Dark Cloud, wow, 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 boo, and that is that too. Hey, we're joined by Mac. This is Machiavelli Federico. That is his UBE jersey. I'm not sure if I'm going to call him his government name, but I'll call him that name. How you doing, Mac? I'm doing all right. All right, And a what the heck is that? That is the first unforced error by anybody, and that is from Derek Smith after four in a row. That gives Garden Foundation a chance to sneak back into this one. So, Mac, what do you think? We, we <laughs> see around laughing. four frames of what's going on between Murder, Inc. and Garden Foundation. What do you think so far? Uh, DJF all day. DJ, DJF got this? Yeah, got this. got to pick it up a little bit, don't you think? DJF, you do. Quarter horses down the first step. Uh, and they kick in as that checkerboard starts to uh, light up as we normally do. Look at how, look at his face. Look how it just changed. He wasn't sweating. Hey, Joe P. He's talking about Chris Brigantino right now. Brigantino just left 11, just left a 10 pin, and so does Rusty Thompson. Now, can they make spares? Derek Smith did, and Brigantino does. At least now we're going, this is getting a little bit closer now, and all of a sudden, it's right now you got a 5-2 potential, assuming that Rusty Thompson makes a spare. It's going to be a 5-2 run, or 5-3 run by Garden Foundation. Wish has got to step it up here, or Ryan it doesn't matter if you set the first four in a row. In the words of Mac, it's vanishing. Talk to me, Ducky. Ryan is all over the place. Like, split, spared it, split, split. Still trying to figure it out. Might have to change the jersey, but uh, he's the, not he, having an answer right now. Well, the, the <laughs> answer is yuck at this point. That is what the answer is. And, and so the is answer you, right now, three 10 pins yes. in a row for Murder Inc. Scratch no. Squad. <laughs> Just as we talk about how wonderful this the Murder Inc. Scratch Squad's doing now, it's nine pin, nine, uh, sorry, 10 pin, 10 pin, 10 pin. No, it was the eight pin, 10 pin, 10 pin. Sorry, eight pin, 10 pin, 10 pin, you're right. Now is Omush going to make the spare? Yes, he is. Clearing up. So we got two spares, however, 5-2 run by Garden Foundation. All of a sudden, that is a seven pin matchup at the scratch side. Now let's go over here because in the middle pair at this moment, Murder Inc. has up their game, so to speak. They're now up by around 40, 50 pins, depending on what Hose does, more importantly, depending on what Murder Inc. does. 
And all of a sudden now, we got a little case of Max talking about this. Single pin spares. Hey, Nazi! Hey! I mean, I, I know it's just not me, but it got a little chilly in here, and somebody opened up the window <laughs> because the Garner Foundation just creeped right back into this match. When is a door not a door? <laughs> when it's a jar. How is looking to sneak in a little bit more? Uh, Makes the seven pin wiggle, doesn't fall down. So right now it will stay 40 pin advantage for Murder Inc. in the middle pair. However, here comes Garden Foundation. Cavaniero right now, front six. That's looking good. They're starting to cut it down. And all of a sudden, Murder Inc. very, very strong at the beginning. However, Garden Foundation held their poise. Got, got a little bit of a slow start, but third and fourth frame, they're all striking. They're still striking the fifth frame. And now Murder Inc. has stopped striking, and that's allowing Garden Foundation to get right back into this on the scratch side. Hose is going to make the spare if Tish, Tish Dog, Brent Tishik, and I know him very well, he's, he knows he's really good for shooting the 800s and the 300s. If Tish can hold right, serve so here, no, but Makanov can't. So, so over from there. So from where, where I'm looking at from back here, mm -hmm. and, and, and I mean, trying to do my sightseeing, the Garden Foundation is just here to go. Where Murder Inc. is all over the place, they're drinking, they're, they're conversating and stuff like that. They wasn't doing that the first couple of frames, they was like serious. And then once they got the little lead and everything like that, all of a sudden they just forgot that they're here to go. They got a little too <laughs> happy, I believe, is, is what you mean, and you're absolutely right. So meanwhile, third pair, Murder Inc. is starting to get back into it also. All three pairs right now are tight. So, which is what you expected. There's two things that you expected in this match. You expected everything to be tight, and you expected lots of strikes. And right now, you're not disappointed. No. And Mush is looking not to be disappointed by that shot, and he won't be. So Look right like now. Mush was saying, go to sleep. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's right. He's like, y'all got to go back to bed. Like, it's too early for y'all to be out here bowling. <laughs> All right, now, Wesley Thompson with the strike can make it an even game, and he does. Garden Foundation now up by two. Over on the scratch side, going into the seventh frame, the other two matches are in the fifth frame and are on the halfway point. Halfway part is too tight to call in the third pair. Second pair right now, Murder Inc. still up by around 40. Here comes Prentice looking to double up. Yeah, you got real lucky on that. He left the 2-8, and that should have been a lot worse than that. This this house you can't you can't seems like you can't float it. Like when I did when I pulled here one time, like I had to be real tight. Like you said earlier, there's gonna be a lot of tight. You see Alex throw with a ball straight down the Seven line. in a row. Like you don't need to sit there and have any belly in the ball. No, in, in Jersey Lane you gotta you gotta throw it one or two ways. You either gotta throw it straight, high and tight, or you gotta hook it all the way out and hope it comes all the way just back like, in. Just like, Second arrow like, no good. Usually. Usually, second arrow no good. However, these teams are good enough that they can carve their own path in their own oil and make the adjustments and make second arrow good. And more importantly, and again, this is the experience of all the teams working together. All these bowlers have had experience bowling with each other for years. So they know how to make their own shot, not only for them, but for their own teammates. And meanwhile, that's what's going on. We are an hour there. That means another 10 pin. Makarov over there. However, coming here in front seven. This is a big shot for Chris Brigantino because if he doesn't double and if Bush doesn't double, Garden Foundation's going to take the lead on the scratch. There's there a is double. a double for Brigantino. Like you said, he kept it nice, tight, down two. Great that, results. Right now, that's uh, until the lanes break down, that's where the shot is. Nice and that's where everybody is. Tishuk, after starting for the nine spur of four in a row, they're starting to cut down and lead a little bit if Murder Inc. lets them, and right now there's a 10-pin. That ain't right. It's not right, but it's okay. <laughs> oh, the spur is okay also. I'll throw out all sorts of pop culture references. Crazy ones. So now, going into the sixth frame, third pair, Garden Foundation again is labeled D-E-F. Looking to move up that lead. Oh my, Oh, It's coming around the mountain. Uh, maybe, come. no. Oh. <laughs> oh, that rack was fast. She was coming around the mountain. The mountain sort of <laughs> said, hold up. Yeah, that, that was a little bit of a fast rack there. Now again, Murder Inc, A, B, and C. Murder Inc right now holding on to a little bit of a lead on the third pair. Here comes Garden Foundation. Rusty Thompson, again, right now it's a 5-4 marking on the scratch, assuming Bush makes a spare. He will, going over to the scratch side, it is now Garden Foundation up there, up by 13 as we go into the eighth frame. 
Let's focus a little bit. Ah, that's <laughs> Mac. That's what I like to hear. Gar Garden Foundation was in trouble in scratch in the hey, first game. Max has never double by Muscle Hamster, as I jokingly like to call him. The G Myers over the anchor in pair number two. Right now, Murder Inc. still holding on to a 40 pin lead. Second pair, however, let's go over to that scratch pair because we're going at crunch time. That's the last three frames. Mac wants him to roll up. Derek Smith not doing that. There's a big double for Derek. Cavanero right now, front seven. Cavanero right now, front seven, looking for eight. Oh, that's Barry, got that one. He is, I mean, he's the man. If you think you've seen him on the pro circuit, he's done a number of PBA for regional events. Ooh. And a number of UBA bowlers have done that. And congratulations to Mike Martell, by the way, coming in second place on the USBC Masters last week. And Martell, part of Royal Flush. And right now we're seeing a lot of royalty on the lanes at this moment. Here comes Spencer, looking to double up here, taking advantage. Oh, no. Two, four, seven. Two, four, six, seven. What's going on here? Ducky, he doesn't have an answer. Um, I don't have an answer either, but I mean, what I, what I would suggest to him probably would be throw the ball a little longer. Like, it seems like it's chucking at the arrows. You, you get the ball, you're the lefty, like, probably the only lefty on the pair. That's true, I believe he is the only lefty like, you, on the you're, pair. You're, you're battling yourself. Like, you're, <laughs> like you're battling you're, yourself, right now you're not winning. So now that's let's that's a mind boggling to me with, with, with lefty and righty bowlers. If there's five righties on the pair and one lefty, and lefty struggling, and everybody's Absolutely striking. Absolutely, yes. Bragantino looking to match up. He does right now. Murder Inc. fighting to stay around in the scratch matchup. Right now, it is an 11 pin lead for Garden Foundation. Except right now, here's the catch. Oh, yes. Right now, Thompson, look to extend, does not. He's attempting. Craig Primus back, with another back, one. Back down to Mush, Mush, Mush with a strike here. <laughs> oh. Mush with a strike here, that looks good. Oh. It is. Oh! Oh, that was a good one. That ain't my tail one back in, in, into his leg. And I'm being corrected here. It looks like Brigantino in the middle pair on scratch. It is not. It is Nicholas Campanelli. That's what I get for thinking that I know people at this moment. Big strike over there by Mush. And right now, Murder Inc. has made this an even game. However, they will take the lead here. Frosty Thompson does not convert and make the 10 pin. Thompson right now looking to convert. He does. And right now, we're even. Look, technically, Garden Foundation up by 10. However, they're down on marks five to four. And right now, Garden Foundation Murder on handicap two, John woke up. Boy, did they ever. And right now, Garden F Murder Inc. right now, looking to hold on and stay relevant in that third pair. And Havel right now needs a double. He doesn't get a four pick. Alex, front nine. All right, so, by the way, after game two, uh, we're going to be awarding a... Uh-oh. Oh, we got it. After game two, we're going to be awarding a $25 gift card. So, uh, we're going to get ready on that. And meanwhile, I'll let you think about this. I actually have a very fun, cool trivia question here, which we're going to answer momentarily. Right now, let's go back over to Scratch. Derek Smith right now looking to stay in this match on the Scratch. And hold on to lead right now. He does not do that. Yes, I know. It is Campanelli, not Brigantino. I mentioned that once. I will mention it again. Right now, looking for front nine. Get it. That rabbit got his bunny. Kevin here with the front nine. Mock it up with the double right there. Garden Foundation right now up by around 30. And how quickly the tides turn, especially in the scratch side. Gets a spare here. Now, it is Nicholas Campanelli, not Chris Brigantino. Especially because he has Campanelli on the last name. <laughs> on the back side of the jersey. Brian, Brian found the, found the right side. Brigantino actually is on the, the third pair. I'm sorry. I said Brian found the, 
the right lane now. He has to figure out the left. He's got to figure out the left. A big strike over there by Campanelli. Garden Foundation right now up by 10. If Mush strikes here, that will be a double. It'll be 5-5, five, five, and once again, we'll be even. Going into the stem frame, big, big shot by both bowlers right now. Thompson up first. Oh. Speaking of Brigantino, we'll get to that momentarily. Thompson right now, he's on a spare. Right now, leaves a seven pin. Now, if we go to Brigantino, funny that we mentioned him, he leaves a seven, seven ten right now, split up there. Which right now looking to double, he doesn't seven pin. And now Garden Foundation will take a 10 pin lead going into the 10th frame. Both of the first two bowlers and Garden Foundation on doubles, more importantly, Alex Havanero's got the front nine. I'm gonna Tops have to right now looking to make the spare to guarantee that Garden Foundation will be up 10, he does. Everyone be sitting there saying that I'm loud and obnoxious and when I'm bowling and stuff. But Mush, he be hopping in front of people and going lanes <laughs> and stuff like that. Everybody loves Mush. Everybody yeah. hates Ducky. I don't understand it. <laughs> you've ever seen that? Uh, you've ever seen that show with Chris Rock? Everybody hates Chris. Yes. Everybody hates Ducky. I'm telling you, like something is. Everybody loves Mush. Mush. But now, right now, Garden Foundation in the tenth frame, already up by ten. Derek Smith is up right now. However, Cavanero's got the front nine. If he goes out the door, that will give the Garden Foundation a huge, and I mean huge, lead with two bowlers left. And you think 30 pins is not a lot, it can be. First, one, baby, First shot here is big. Oh, you got oh, it. Nice. However, all eyes turn to Cavanero. You know, one of the questions that I asked you, is there going to be a 300 that's shot game one? You said, you say 289? He's going to get robbed. He's going but Black. first shot, you think he's getting a strike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get robbed on the second one, eight pin. All right, we'll see. Kevin here right now. Got the front line. Garden Foundation already up by 10, looking for more. A strike keeps it plus 10. Anything less than a strike, Murder Inc. can take the lead. First ball here. Ah, I, heard, I heard a little. One. I heard a little. <laughs> <laughs> I, I felt the wind go out my head. Woo! That's 10 in a row for Kevin Nero. And again, you, you don't want to say anything up there, but it's almost sort of like bottom of the ninth, one batter out, two more batters to go, two more shots to go. Then we'll talk oh. about Chris Brigantino and what Garden Foundation and Murder Inc. are doing momentarily because they're about to go into the ninth frame there. However, we've got to focus on the scratch. Second ball by Derek Smith, by the way, not a strike. It really doesn't matter what it is at this point. If it's not a strike, in this case, 6 8, 10 But focus right now, Kevin Yarrow, he's got the front 10. Here's a shot number 11 coming up. <laughs> Bush likes his lefty better. Kevin Yarrow's a righty, looking for number 11 right here. He buried it. Ooh. Big shot from the Garden Foundation. As I said, right now, that's a guaranteed 30 pins if he goes out, and it looks like he's going to. So now right now, a strike here will put Garden Foundation up by 31, but more importantly, it will give Alex Havanero here on UBA TV a 300. Drum and roll. it's going to be higher than 289 there, Ducky. Drum if he roll, can get please. a drum roll, please. You can throw it in the gutter, 290. Well, you could. I don't think he's <laughs> going to. D D this is why this people be a don't. a great time for a this four count. Yeah, this is why everybody hates Ducky, by the way. You're wondering why everybody hates Ducky. This would be a reason for it. So we, we're hearing a lot about Murder Inc. and Garden Foundation over here, but here's a shot right now, going for perfect game, 300, ball comes up, it's good! Alex Havanero, 300 game for Garden Foundation. <laughs> Ducky put a two in there on the scores. It's not a two, it's a three. Alex Cavanero, 300 Garden Foundation. Garden Foundation now up by 31. Both bowlers, uh, Nicholas Campanelli and Robert Mockenhout with doubles, and then both anchor bowlers, Dejon Smith, Rusty Thompson on spares. And, and right now, Brian Spencer not only does not have the answer, that's potentially open number five for him in this match. And he may not break 150. Meanwhile, big shot from Campanelli. You, never you know can't, that. you can't pull, you cannot pull Brian Spencer. Like, even if he shoots a 150, he's going to come back and do better. Like, he is so frustrated right now, but I, I know deep down that the next two games is going to be lit lit. 
Oh, well, Brian Spencer right now, you can't count him out on anything. Right now, he needs some Henny. <laughs> he needs some Henny in his life. That's he, what he, he needs. He may need, he may need something. Maybe a different ball, maybe a little uh, beverage. But in this case, Garden Foundation down by 50. Again, let's go back to scratch. Garden Foundation right now, in order to keep their 30 pin lead, forced to throw a strike thanks to what Campanelli did. So, in this case, we're waiting on Mockenhaupt. Right now, Mockenhaupt still waiting. Campanelli's gonna shoot a second shot here. So that ball looks good too. It is buried. Campanelli right now, he's on six in a row all by himself. You know, strike, 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 ninth spin, goes out the door. He's gonna be in the 270s, possible 279. That's how you counter a 300. Mockenhaupt himself, no slouch. If he goes out the door, that's a 247. Again, we, we expect the high scoring we're going to get. And meanwhile, while the pace is slowed down, we're about to go into the 10th frame on the, sec on the third pair. So compare right now, Murder, Inc. Right now, starting to pull away the handicap side, the middle pair, and starting to pull away on the handicap side on pair number three. We were sitting there worried about and talking about uh, Brian Spence over here struggling. Harville isn't doing that bad over there himself. 115 in the seventh. Like, he can't figure out to put a double together over there. Just like. Well, he's, well, he's in the seventh. At least he can go out for a 230 something. Who, Harville? He said 115 in the seventh, right? Yeah, 115 in the seventh. Eighth, he spared. Oh, I see. I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Everybody likes their lefty better right now. Lefty is not doing great. However, Mockenhau, big strike in the first ball in the 10th frame. You're going to get a 279 from Capanelli. There's the finish. However, that strike means Garden Foundation is going to be up by at least 20. If Mockenhau throws, his, throws the second strike here, that's game, set, and match for Garden Foundation on the scratch side. For that, all bowlers are talking about regional titles. Number of bowlers here of regional titles currently bowling in this match. Not Ducky. No, Ducky only has a World Championship Spirits title. Yeah, barely that. <laughs> barely that. Well, right now, you still got one. So another 10 pin up by Mockenhaupt. Mockenhaupt's going to finish somewhere in the 230s. Probably 236. And right now, G Myers leaves the 10 pin. Murder Inc. comfortable over on the handicap side, or the, or the second pair. They're up by 61. So here we go over the scratch side. Both anchors are up. They're both on spares. Garden Foundation up by 20. So basically, any mark by, by uh, Rusty Thompson will end it. And basically, what Murder Inc. needs to do is that Mush has got to go out the door, and they need Rusty Thompson to make to do something that he hasn't boo -boo. done yet, which is make a boo-boo. Exactly. <laughs> they need a boo-boo. But more importantly, right now, they need a strike from Mush. Got to have this one. First shot coming out. Gets it. That forces Thompson to show up. They say keep it close. In, in this case, they want it real close. So what do you think here? Oh, here's Thompson. Oh. This is for the game. That's very nice back. game. Ten back. Game over in the scratch side. Garden Foundation will get the first two points of the match. So they're going to win the scratch side. Now, for anybody that hasn't seen a UBA match, here's how this works. You get two points per game per trio. If you get the overall wood, that's a bonus four for the, for the series. So each trio can get a total of 10 points. The total overall wood of all three pairs is a bonus 10 points. That usually determines who wins or loses the match. So right now, Garden Foundation will take the first scratch game, even with a double for Mush. But that's going to be a really close type match. Oh, and slow ugly. mixer from Thompson, that but that ugly. looks good over there. So Garden Foundation will be up by around 20 pins to end that. Meanwhile, let's go over to the third pair because that's close. That got a lot closer now than, than normally advertised. Now, ABC is Murder, Inc. Let's point that out. And we point that out because right now they're up by 10. And they're up by 10 because of the spare versus open. Um, Brigantino, there he is, versus Al Torre Hooper for Garden Foundation. Brigantino up right now. There's a strike. Brigantino can go out for a 236. Huge strike. For Murder Inc. That will guarantee that they will have at worst 
a tie potentially going into their third bowler. Both of those bowlers in strikes. Altari Hoper must strike to keep pace. If he doesn't, then Murder Inc. is going to have a nice, sizable lead going into that third bowler. He had two teams, two, two, teams, two games that are really tight against two teams that you sort of thought this was going to be close back and forth. And there's a big strike there by Torrey Hooper. Now, let me ask you this question, Ducky. Did you, now you knew you were getting what you are getting on the scratch side. You have a couple of bowlers that aren't going to break a deuce for either side here. One of them from Garden Foundation, which of course is going to be Spencer, who's been struggling. The other one by Havel. Did you expect that coming into this? Or did you think everybody was going to shoot at least deuces or better? I thought everybody was going to shoot deuces or better, but I mean, there's a couple of people that didn't do it. But I mean, this isn't a, this isn't for the for the week. Like this shot is is as you see is humbling some of them and trying to figure out, try to adjust accordingly. It is second some shot right here. Some people are over you're absolutely right there. It's uh, some some of the bowlers are making this a PBA style shot, and this is a hell shot. Meanwhile, a huge double for Hooper, because right now Brigantino will make the spare. If Hooper strikes, that will be even again. Going into the last bowler, and both bowlers are on strikes. There's a potential for a tie. First things first, Hooper's got a strike here. So I'm also making the assumption that the handicap is in, which could be a bad assumption on my part. Hooper right now, big oh. strike. And that was huge right now. If the handicap is already in, it is a tie situation going in. If the handicap is not already in, Garden Foundation is up by 11. So we're gonna hear basically by the crowd which side is which. It's so actually, I'm gonna check with the scorekeeper here momentarily. Renee. 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 Handicap, handicap in, handicap in, handicap in. Yeah, after he goes. Okay. Handicap is in. And you had a big, big oh. strike from Havel Wright. So right now, Murder Inc.'s got the lead. Manny Gonzalez here has got a strike over here to keep the tie. Gotta be a strike, and it is. Both teams even going to the next bowler. Here we go. Tie matchup. All right, Ducky, you're good at predicting who wins this, or do we have a tie? Well, both bowlers even. Juju on the beat. Ten pin. All right, Havel right now. Juju's Ooh, looking for... Oh, Ducky called it. You got it. This is why everybody Spencer. hates you. Brian Spencer. Brian Spencer had done through the ball a little bit longer down the lane, so now he's getting more lift out of it. Yeah, Brian, Brian Spencer figuring it out. And it may not be too late in the middle it pair of Garden Foundation. It is not too late. And we will say that momentarily. However, here comes Manny Gonzalez. A strike here at Garden Foundation will take the game. Right now, here we go. Strikeout here by Joe Prentice. But we'll get to the middle pair momentarily. Right now, Gonzalez is up. If he strikes oh, here, oh, this is game oh. for Garden Foundation. And he does. Garden Foundation, who is down by as much as 60 pins on the third pair, is going to come back and win this. Right now, 4-zip Garden Foundation. Oh, here we go. I'm not sure if you heard that or not. Manny says, just because I don't bowl doesn't mean I can't bowl. One thing that he can do, he can bowl in the clutch. Havel, an uncharacteristic 184. And more importantly, a 10-pin on a second shot that's going to cost Murder, Inc. Uh, that first game on the third pair. So right now, Garden Foundation by up, strike here. Actually, it doesn't really matter right now. Garden Foundation's got that game. Let's go over to the middle pair. Prentice right now, second strike, that's important. Murder Inc. is now up by 40. However, and a big however here, Garden Foundation is up four to one in terms of marks. So even though they're up by 40, te technically, from a numeric standpoint, they're only up by 11. And even more importantly, if Garden Foundation goes out the door, they will win this game, and there's nothing Murder Inc. can do about it. Ducky, talk to me. Started off hot, got cold in the building, and then the Murder Inc. just forgot to put a little extra seasoning to finish the game. Like you, Garden Foundation came in here and sat there and told them, "Hey, listen, we are the founding found. We are the, the the champions for a reason." They came and just took it at the end. Yeah, Pause. Murder Murder Inc. forgot there's four more frames to this match. If it was at the end in the first half, you're right. Murder Inc. takes all three. However, bowling is a ten frame match. Hosha right now, big shot. This could give Garden Foundation the lead, and he gets it. 
all of a sudden, <laughs> Greg Primus has got to throw a strike. Our Garden Foundation will take the lead in the middle of here as well. Huge turnaround for Garden Foundation. Huge. Here's Primus coming up. Get him right back. He don't double the tech. I know how. Oh. Well, well, it'll mush his tag as much as he can. <laughs> However, numbers <laughs> don't lie. And, and right now, it is an even Steven game. With, with There's a one pin difference right now. Murder Inc. has it. If Hose throws another strike here, Murder Inc. will no longer have the lead. And, and advantage Garden Foundation going into the last bowler. Right now, here's Hose. Second shot coming out. That ball looks good. Oh no! That not only is that not good, it's not. Four six seven. That is a huge potential open. Primus right now has a shot to give to give Murder Inc. a little bit of cushion going into the last bowler. Four! We're get to get to that momentarily here. Big shot here by Primus. Big shot over there. Murder Inc. will retake the lead going on the middle pair. It's crazy going back and forth matchup here. And it counts a little bit important, not necessarily, but you never know. Who's going to get two? He you does. Know, maybe three, but two. Bose finishes with the 212. Probably would like that second shot back because, again, Garden Foundation could have taken the advantage going into the last bowler. In this case, he doesn't. So right now, assuming that he gets 10, which he will, 25-pin lead for Murder, Inc. on the scoreboard, 15-pin in real life. So right now, 15 pins, which means, if my math is correct, if Brent Tisha goes out the door, that means that, that, means that Myers has got to throw the first one. First from Myers has got to be a strike. However, as I say, first things first, Tish has got to throw a strike here. And that ball looks a little high. And it is. And that's great. Three, four, six, seven. So Murder Inc. There's basically nothing Garden Foundation is going to do here. Murder Inc. is going to go. Now this is going to be important because keep in mind Garden Foundation won the other two games. This is going to be for overall wood. So big shot by Myers right here. Big shot, we got some tripping going on over here. And there's a good reason for it. Garden Foundation is gonna do what they need to do. They're gonna take this two is games. What, this, is what I, this is what I expected right here. Yes. This is uh, what I expected right here. And it's only gonna get louder as the game goes on. This is only game one. This is only game one of, of this. So uh, if, if the other two games go anything like this one, this is gonna be fun and loud. So, right now, Garden Foundation up 4-2. to two. However, Murder, Inc. is going to have the wood. We're going to get the specific numbers momentarily. Myers right now looking for the second one. He's going to get it. Myers going to finish with 247. So, Murder, Inc. is going to finish by the wood with 55. And based on around 55. And based on the math, I believe Garden Foundation took the scratch pair of the first pair by 21 took the third pair by 27, that's 48. So Wood's gonna be less than 10 pins, but it will be a murder inside of the board. Ducky, is this what you're expecting? So. <laughs> so Joe, talk to me about this middle game here because you guys salvaged what could have been a Garden Foundation sweep. We did, but Never know. He got Mushroom to talk. Was he going to double? Or was he going to And then Brent left the split. Right, you, you got a lot of people that know how to talk on your team. Uh, isn't that the culture? That is the culture. That is the culture. That's how we built the team. Well, so far, so good. You built it very well. 19 and 20. Well, it, it looks like we got a uh, female coming in, and it looks like we got a sub coming in, potentially. Maybe or maybe not. We may or may not have a sub. See Boom Boom coming down, and, and she knows how to throw the ball also. So, Ducky, now let's. Now that we're done here, let's quickly go over to game two. 
And on the scratch side, it is Murder, Inc. once again doing what they did at the beginning of game one, which is throw a lot of strikes. Yes. With the exception of Mush that went to the land of red numbers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Nine pin up. At lunge. Hey. 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 We, we have Bob now hey. doing a fake lunge over there. <laughs> Rob, don't, don't hurt yourself, Rob. Don't hurt yourself. So right now, well, there is a trip to the red so land, no, grand, land of the red numbers, and that's from Rusty. So Alex, Alex right went, now. Alex went 300 game one. Yep. Started the game off, same thing, nice, calm, and collective, and then went split, split. On the other side, you have, you have, um, you have Derek and, and Caponelli just doing what they started to do early. Well, we do I have a sub coming in on, on Handicap 1. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, again, Boom Boom is definitely not a, a, a handicap. No. Like, no. Boom she, Boom. She's going to be the lowest average bowler, and she's yeah. well over deuce. Yeah, Boom Boom. Boom Boom sat there and uh, Boom, shut Boom Boom, by the way, is Melanie Cleary. She shut Ducky up real quick at the Battle of the Sexes one, here one day. So, yeah, <laughs> I, I can't say nothing to her. She went tray bomb on me. And it looks like Boom Boom is coming in for Brian Spencer. Brian Spencer with a very early night here in this match. And, and again, Brian Spencer has done a lot of good stuff. 889 over at Battle Bowl. Clearly tonight, not his night. Not his day for lefties right now. Not his day for lefties. You said it's not a day for lefties, but she's the backup bowler. Well, she, she is a good bowler. If you're going to be a, no, a lefty, backup the back lefty is yeah, really yeah. good. All right. Boom Boom's going to shot what, you say? He's going to shoot 250. No pressure 250. That's what Munch says. Let's try and see. Let's see what Boom Boom does. Well, Boom Boom starts with a 4-7. She, she, she hit the Brian Spencer line. Like, she has to get it down the lane longer. Well, yeah, I that, don't know what I'm talking about. Well, that, that is going to change the handicap here. I'm going to find out exactly. I'm going to check to see exactly what it changed the handicap to. Because, yeah, Murder Inc. will get less pins. Because she is not, she is a really good bowler, but she's not a 227. So therefore, that that handicap is going to change. We'll get that momentarily. Meanwhile, scratch side, front three, Nicholas Campanelli, looking for four in a row, and Boom Boom's going to start with a spare. We have a little bit of a Boom Boom. Let's say hi to her really quickly. Hello, Boom Boom. I am okay. Now, what is your average coming into this match? We we just know we know Real you know how to throw the Ducky said that you sort of showed him up over oh about my gosh. the Oh, She did not need to what hear that. What did you do to poor Ducky? What did you do to him? <laughs> he shot 300 on you. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. So, yeah, they, all they do is they bring in a ringer that likes to shoot a tray. Yes. And that's she all went. they do. That's how loaded Garden Foundation is. Right now, Ho's looking to continue what he almost Roll. tried to do. Roller. Got it. What happened to that rat? That rat over there is. Ho's at the strike. Man. Primus Fast looking to make this. Here. Sorry, not Primus Mayor looking like despair. He does. Murder Inc. once again. They started strong in the beginning of game one. Eight out of nine strikes. They're starting again strong in game two. The question is, can they hold on to it? He's too short. He's, he's too, too short, short to see me. He's, he's too yeah. short to see me. Which is also short, but he's looking on his first. Oh. First right, strike we'll over lane 17 this game. He got it. Right now, four to three run by, by Murder Inc. And as you can tell, Murder Inc. already up by 50. They were up by 40 until Garden Foundation came back. It looks like the strategy this time around is do not let Garden Foundation come back. Mush. Now, how is the second game on scratch going to differ from the first game on scratch? Because you had the lead and then, whoops. Let's hope you stay clean. Stay clean and win. Stay clean this time? I mean, it's pretty hard to be bad if shot Yeah, Pinelli shot a 279. A couple of miscarries for us, too. Right now, you got the wood. You got the wood not by a lot, but you got the wood. All right. It is early. Right now, Brent Tishik starting the game off. Well, not exactly how you want to start the game off. Two pin, makeable spare. Oh, sorry. Okay, 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 let's, let's look at these scores one second here while we have a little break in the action. And, and, and again, we're, we're talking talking scores we had a 300 279 lowest scratch score on the first pair 225 
we had a 169 and a 193, but we also had a 240. And then the third pair, all we had was a pair of 230s, a 226, and oh yeah, 268 from Nicholas Nowicki. Yeah, it, like these scores aren't for the wicket. Like they're they're. This division is known to be have great bowlers in competition. I'm seeing it today. There is a reason why this district has the most battle bowl chips. Has the has the season brawl for all winner by the way came from this district. Yeah, excellent wounds. That is correct. And you you've got between Garden Foundation, Murder Inc., and Exit Wounds, they've all held the chip, which is again that is the most teams in a district that's held that's held the chip in the UBA. That is from this district, New Jersey Northwest. And some people ask, well, Gordon, why do you rank them that high in terms of your top 50? This is why. They come out to bowl. It doesn't matter where. It doesn't matter how. They come to bowl. And now that I've just said that, there's a 7-10 pin left up there by Garden Foundation. Uh, this time by Silk to Jonathan Adams. Again, though, if you're going to do that, do that now. As Garden Foundation has, has showed you, there's plenty of time to come back. Now the question becomes, is Murder Inc. going to seal the deal this time? Because they didn't do a good job game one. Campanelli right now, front five. Hey, yo! Hey, yo! And, and again, hey, yo! I, I mistakenly got him confused with him and Chris Brigantino. They do look very similar. And I think Campanelli is going to say, well, you know what? I shot a 279 board. Now I'll make you remember which one's me and which one's Brigantino. You know, Brigantino didn't shoot a slouch either. He only shot a 226. Right now, thank you, statistician Ducky. Uh, Murder Inc. up by 17. That is officially the total wood. And now that we've just said that, Murder Inc., Craig Primus with a 2-4-10 potential open to match Jim Hosier's 4-6-7 potential open on the other side. Meanwhile, Joe Francis keeps on hanging out here with us, which I enjoy because I like commentary from both sides. Need to be down to 208. 220 is way too high for him. 220 is way too high for Joe Prentice. Hmm. 193 game one. Exactly. Double game two. When's my rolling average game? I don't know. Good question. I don't know what it is. Possible spare. <laughs> Meanwhile, while, while your bat has been turned to Craig Primus, me. Primus with the spare. <laughs> Big spare over there, and again, Murder Inc. trying to do what they didn't do game one. They had the lead early, could not hold on to a lead for two or three games. And right now, Derek Smith looking to double. He doesn't. Seven pin. So neither lefty having a fun time right now. But again, Derek Smith holding his own right now. Strikes nine spares, not terrible. Cavanier right now with a 50. You shoot a 300 game one, you got a 57 in the fourth game, too. Ducky, was that your fault? Did no. you do that? No, I like the guy. I'm usually the dog cloud. I'm usually the guy that does that. Cavanier right now, double, six frame. Garden Foundation trying to get back into this. They have a long road to hoe. They're down 50. I Except have now, Murder Inc. just made it a little bit easier for him. There's a missed seven pin by Derek Smith. That's why you in the carpet. Yeah, and, and uh, aye, we got a Greek church over in the second pair. Second handicap pair, we have a Greek church. The team Myers right now with double, Murder Inc. Let's see if Najee Myers sees us now. No, Najee Myers still hasn't seen us. We're still too short. Didn't see you again. Myers! Najee! Najee! We're over here. You're like ignoring us. Carpinelli! Okay. Campanelli, front six. <laughs> Come back here, high five. There we go. Not for nothing. I think Murder 8 has the best... Uh, Jersey designs out there. Murder Inc.'s got a great jersey design out there. Like their, their breast cancer one is fire. Breast cancer one is great. And got the skeleton with the machine gun. Properly, have, properly dressed too. Dressed to impress. You have the, uh, Gotta like that. The However, now, now here's the issue with Campanelli. Nicholas Campanelli, front six. However, and a big however here, he's not getting much on the help side. Right now, they're still okay. However, and a big however here, Fuzzy Thompson can double. A little bit of pressure coming on. A little bit. There's Mush. Strikes it out. Strike. Champanelli's going to need some help from from both Mush and Derek Smith because, and a bit because here, I completely expect Russell Thompson to strike here. And if he does, that's going to be a 6 3. And then all of a sudden, it's a 40 guard foundation's going to sneak in there and be up by 40. There's a, Is that a. No, that was a 6 pin. I was going to say that wasn't a 5 pin. No. 6 pin. Boom, boom makes it. 
Rusty Thompson with the strike, and all of a sudden, Murder Inc. had a chance to break this one open, and all of a sudden, it's, it's now a 30-pin lead over on the scratch side. Back over to pair number two. Right now, Garden Foundation looks to get back into this a little bit, except they're down by 30. And potentially 40 because of the open on the top by Joe, I'm sorry, not by Joe Prentice, but by uh, Billy. Man, I gotta go walk around. There's a lot of people in this division, I know. I didn't know I know, know this many people. There's a ton of really good bowlers. A, lo a lot of really solid bowlers in the New Jersey Northwest. Those right now looking to close the gap a little bit more. Ten does pin. not. Ten pin. So right now, Garden Foundation down by 30. They got one of those back on the mark, down by 20. Now on the third pair, let's see what's going on over here. And again, Murder Inc. ABC, Garden Foundation. The Garden Foundation. Right now, that's too close to call. There's Brigantino right now with a double. Murder Inc. right now looking to get a little bit Hard of straight space over here. But again, way too close to call. Hooper right now, nine pin, looking to pick that up. Give a little bit of love here to that third pair. Hooper's got it. However, Murder Inc. can open up a little bit of a lead over on that third side. Who's right now making the spare. Again, if the, if the game ended in the fifth pair, Murder Inc. is up on all three pairs. That being said, we saw what happened game one. Looking for a double, there it is. Right now, a 5-3 run by Havel. Murder Inc. looking to be up. Right now, they're up by, by 30. What? Campanelli what? for seven. What? <laughs> Campanelli front seven. Keep in mind, he had a 279 game one. He wasn't slouching here. Potentially could have a 579 after two. 800s here are not only not only out of the realm, they're usually pretty common here. You have a lot of bowlers that are used to shooting 800s. Ducky, you think we'll see an eight here? And if so, by whom? Look at the yeah, Alex. Alex was on a, Alex was on a, on a perfect pace for it, but I mean, best he could do is much right here. Look at that, three in a row. Murder Inc. is getting the help that they needed from Champanelli. Which again, that, that doesn't do any good. If he strikes and the other two spares, and meanwhile Garden Foundation gives you a wall of strikes. Speaking of which, there's another one. He still is four in a row from him. Right now, both bowlers five five on marks. Murder Inc. holding on to a 33-pin lead as we go into the eighth frame. That's over there, both both the second and the third pair, both quote-unquote handicap matches. Uh, going into the fourth frame and fifth frame, respectively. Sheesh. And that didn't look very good or sound very good. Changing and it's four, seven, four, seven, ten. Boom, boom, Take right now. Four, seven, ten. Maybe he'll trip four, the seven, ten. No. Coming here right now with that. Now, Derek Smith's got a chance to double, get a little bit of leeway between Murder Inc. and Garden Foundation, something they could not do in the end of game one. Garden Foundation came in and snuck in. Now, can Murder Inc. actually convert here? Big double here. That would put Murder Inc. up potentially by 45 over the scratch side with two frames left to go. Again, assuming that everybody throws strikes, does not do that. Six pin. This lefty, is, this lefty, uh, today is not lefty's day. I mean, it it is it is not lefty's day at all. And you have the ba backup lefty bowler, boom, boom, with an open. She's got a six and five in the fourth frame. Got six pin Murder Inc. Get two, get two. Looking for Prentice to make the spares. Right now, at least on this end, it's sort of a question of uh, not just who's going to carry, but who's going to make the makeable spares. There's only really been, and correct me if I'm wrong here, I think there's only been like two or three unforced errors in terms of opens. Mm -hmm. Everybody else not has been pretty clean. Yes. I mean, unforced errors. I mean, you do have opens, so those are forced errors. But, I mean, split opens, so those are forced errors. Unforced meaning that you should have made the spare and you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> those right now making sure he doesn't have to throw a spare. There's a spike over there. Primus Jr. right now looking to match. He does. Primus There's doing Primus, Primus things. Come on, let it go, let it go. And again, Murder Inc. threatening to blow this open on the first two pairs. The last time, the last time uh, at Battle Bowl, Primus 
walking around with a big ice pack on his arm. That's how many, that's how how much he throw how hard he throws the ball mm-hmm. and how much he goes hard for his team. Like he didn't want to be pulled enough and he <laughs> all iced up and everything, ready to go. Yep, Champanelli right now, looking for eight. Got it. Give it back. Give it back. Champanelli. By the way, that Champanelli was from a former, and again, former champions here, former welterweight Northeast champion, Anthony Tano. As I said, Northwest New Jersey's got a lot of champions hanging out in this district. A lot of talent up here. Look at that. Can we see that one? <laughs> Oh wow, Thompson right now leaves a seven. Even that murder ink. That is a chance for murder ink to take control of the scratch matchup. Can Mush? Can Mush pull three in a row? Yeah. Meanwhile, you have a bunch of murder ink bowlers that I would expect to see here in this lineup that aren't. That is how heavy and how deep murder ink is. There also happens to be all heavy hitters. Mush. Bush three Bush in a row. row. He said he would, he said to hold him up and he'll, he'll be there. He's coming hold in. Hold him up. He's there. He's coming in the end. Making right now, assuming that Taylor gets uh, Thompson gets the spare, and he will. Five four run on the scratch pair. You're looking at an almost 50 pin lead for Murder Inc. And meanwhile, one of the big hitters is not here. Oh, who was another former heavyweight champion who answers to the call of Hugh the God. Hey Juju. He is not here, bowling. That is how deep Murder Inc. is. Meanwhile, four pin over here. Let's let's look over here in the handicap side on third pair, handicap pair two. Our four pin hang, hanging out over here. Let's see where we have four four. That's around a 27 pin lead over from Murder Inc., which they will hold on to. Oh, assuming that Hamill's going to make the spare. He does. Let's go back over the scratch side. Caranero, nine pin. Is that a nine pin? That's a nine pin. That looks it like was a nine funny. Pin. It was funny looking, looking le- leave of a nine pin. Six nine. Oh my! Smith answers with a strike. Again, right now. Bush, how, how's your team doing right now? Uh, we are looking decent. Right now, it looks like you're up on all three. Now, now call this. You got Campanelli in the front eight, who I accidentally called Brigantino game one. His name is Nicholas Campanelli. I, I jinxed him, apparently. I don't want to put the whammy on him. You call. He's getting a strike here, right? Yeah, he's up. He's good? He's solid? He's solid. He's good? He's solid. solid as a rock. Super solid as a rock. Ducky, does he get the strike here? I just want to hear him do the chant again. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I want to strike just to get the Champanelli chant going on. Oh, Joe, are you going to give the Champanelli hard. chant if he throws another strike here? This place ain't for everybody. Sure. sure. That'll be this team. Yeah, Locking up right now does not have the front eight, <laughs> but he does out, have five in a row. Five, out. five up, trying to keep the wood close here. However, a big shot here by Camp. Nick, don't call me Chris Brigantino Campanelli. And yes, if you can't make fun of yourself, how are you going to make fun of anybody else? I am fair game, just like everybody else. Who's right now? Looking to make the spare here. That ball looks tight, and he chops it. Chop, chop, suey! That could be a big problem here. Chop, chop, suey! Here's Campanelli looking for nine. Here's it comes, and he gets it. Campanelli! What? Campanelli! What? That's front nine. <laughs> right now, Campanelli front ten, front twelve, game one. Campanelli's looking to do the same to Garvin. Oh, game two. and that oh. does not do well. That does help the nice shot, Garvin Rusty. Game. However, another strike here by Mush, and it's going to be a nice, nice margin here for Garden Foundation. Meanwhile, not the only person with potential three hundred. G Baby, aka Muscle Hamster, aka the G Myers, front five, aka Fat Boy, or Muscle Hamster. How many nicknames does he have? He has like 18 different nicknames, Gene Myers. He does. He has a lot. What's your favorite nickname to give him? It's got to be Fat Boy because he's striking right now. No. He's fat on strikes at this moment. So right now, I thought, Murder when, I thought you got to be a Fat Boy when you're eating, not striking. I don't know. You're a Fat Boy. You strike. Nah, I'm, I'm thinning down. I'm thinning down. He's thinning down, but not fat enough. They strike by Derek Smith. That's a double right now. Murder Inc. looking to do what they could not do in game one. Finish the right now, they finish it. And in the words of a certain video game, finish them. 
right now they're doing that. And again, the wood is important. The wood, going into game two, the wood was only 17 pins by Murder, Inc. That's a total of a big bonus 10 pins. So that is important. Uh, Cabanillo here trying to at I least just keep this to say, close. 300 and 144 in the eighth, finishing in the 10th. Maybe made a proper adjustment. Maybe go 300, 190, 300. Who 300, knows? 190, 300. That'd be 794. <laughs> that would not be That'd a bad That'd be a nice office. kick in the back. <laughs> it, it would be. It would be. So meanwhile, while both goals are resting, and we're going to go over here, second pair of handicap. While I say that Derek Smith's going to throw another strike. Right now, Murder Inc. can full control. The question is not whether or not they win. The question is going to be by how much. And again, they want to pour it on by as much as they can. Total wood is important. Boom, boom with a double, however, and a big however here. Right now, Murder Inc. is up by 60, 80, 90 on that first handicap pair, 94, and threatening for more on the other handicap pair. Party Foundation. Seven. Not good into it. They're making that a 14 pin game. However, 14 is not going to be good enough to take the overall wood going to game three. So Murder Inc. will have the overall wood going to game three. The question is, can they do enough of it to try to put it out of range or at least make it really close? And he gets a carry. Prentice, big double, six frame. Now Derek Smith looking to fill on the scratch side. He can go out for 226. That ball looks good to me. Eight and pin. it isn't. See? Eight that pin. ball looks good to me. Eight pin. Eight pin. <laughs> well, you got a better view than I do. On that 225 for Smith. Consistent. I Up, think what? 225. I was game just one? about to sit there and say, mm -hmm. first game he also had a 225. Nice. Unlike Alex, who went 300, 184. Sorry, 182. So, however, I had a big fat waiver here. Here comes the drink. Here comes Campanelli. He's got the front nine. Last time I said that, there was Alex Cabanero, and we all know what he did. Campanelli shot 279 in the first game. He did. He's got a shot at 800. But first of all, he's got a shot at 300. First ball coming out. Here it comes. Oh, nah, not a good he shot. Threw that, he threw that one. 310. Yeah, he did. That, he that was that not a good ball. Talk to me, Ducky. That was not a very good ball. After watching all the other ones, he was getting the uh, last two shots was a little help from this one right here. He just didn't get the ball left that it needed. Force it. Yeah, Garden Foundation is going to need a lot of help to win this match. That is an open from Campanelli. He finishes, does finish with 266, which is nice. However, if Mockenhau can strike out, it is a 33-pin game. Again, they probably won't win the game. But the, what they will do is close down the with the wood. front six. That being said, Murder Inc. is trying to make that academic eight in a row on the second pair of the first handicap pair. And again, handicap in quotations. Not much handicap. First shot here, and that's good. I've never seen this guy throw a ball, but he throws a very nice one. Robert. Mockenheim, as they say, Mockenheim? Yeah, Mockenhau. Mockenhau. Mockenhau, if he goes out the door, that's a 259. And despite all the strikes, he'll only finish seven pins behind Campanelli. Basically enough. And then also, Rusty Thompson, if he goes out the door, is is not going to finish that far behind Bush. But Alex Cabernero, ironically enough, Alex Cabernero is going to be the difference in this game. The first game, he was the difference for a good reason. The second game, he's going to be the difference for a bad reason. Right now, Garden Foundation looking to close the gap here on the handicap side. They've actually taken the lead on the third pair of the second handicap. Murder Inc. Murder Inc. now down by five as we go into the eighth frame. So where Murder Inc. really needs to make hay while the sun shines here is going to be on the first handicap side of the second pair. Prentice right now, and of course now they said that, 3 6 10. Blah, blah, dark cloud, blah, blah, Gordon talks, no strikes, blah, blah, blah. Boom, boom, looking to make the spare. That looks good, and it is. So right now, Garden Foundation really makes up, needs to make up that wood in the second game in the middle pair, because right now they're down by 106. This is going to be an excellent game set so far for Murder, Inc. this game. They're going to win the scratch side. They're almost certainly going to win the first handicap side. Even if they don't win the handicap side in the third game, assuming that they don't really screw up the wood, they're going to be up on the wood by many going into game three. Now, Ducky, we have seen... Well, this is interesting. It's still, now I'm looking at the scratch. They still can't win the scratch. You However, got a, got they can't close it to under 10. Yes. 
Here's that first shot, and that shot's solid. Solid. Thompson with a big double, and all of a sudden, Garden Foundation was wishing there was one more frame in that scratch match. Yes. Because if this was an 11 frame game, or, Murder Inc. could be in trouble. Or Alex doesn't go 7 10. Or Alex doesn't go 7. You're right. If Alex does hit that second ball in the 10th frame, this becomes real interesting. In this case, the wood is still going to be real interesting. Because Garden Foundation in scratch will have the wood going into the third game. Which you really wouldn't think was possible in the middle of, of, that, in the, middle of the second game. So Ducky, is it a combination of Garden Foundation knowing their acumen? Is it a collapse by Murder Inc. or a combination of both? It's a combination of both, but it's a, it's a miscues too. Like, Murder Inc. had them up by like 60 in the eighth, and then they said they kept on doing it, but then towards the end, they came back and tried to cut the wood back down, hopefully to under eight. Like being well, up it'll, 50, it'll be under 10. It, it will be 8 exactly if he strikes right. out over being, here. Being up 50 in the 8th to come back to only losing the game, I'm sorry, only winning the game by 8, that's a, that was a that, big, That's either a moral comeback. victory or an uh-oh by Murder Inc. We'll find out very quickly what that is. Murder Inc. got to a very quick start game 1. Garden Foundation couldn't catch him. Uh, Garden Foundation caught them. Game 2, they got to a very quick start and Garden Foundation couldn't catch them. So right now, Murder Inc. split 1-1. One, one. Uh, Garden Foundation's got the one on the scratch on the handicap side. And you hear people in the back saying, run it up, run it up, run it up. That is true. You've got to run it up against a team like Garden Foundation. You absolutely have to. And right now, 112 looking to be 122 by Murder Inc. And again, the G. Meyer is front seven. This is the second Murder Inc. person potentially. Uh, potentially, that could shoot a 300 here. Ducky, talk to me about the one on the scratch side. All right. After game two, you got Derek 225, Capanelli 266, Mush 203 for 694, Alex 182, Robert 259, Rusty 245 for 686. Murder Inc. wins the game by um, by eight. Garden Foundation is up 13 in total wood. Now, what's going to happen here? And here, here's a question for you. Now, and you've been in these situations as Duckett because Duckett is a team that's made the playoffs and Duckett's been in some high-pressure situations. If Garden Foundation comes out strong in the scratch and there's no reason why they wouldn't, especially now with Alex Cavaniero, if you're Murder, Inc., how do you deal with that? Because here they come. You need to sit there and start, like, talking. Like, scratch is, wearing, is helping and motivating the handicaps and stuff like that. But they're losing it in the, in the tail end. They need to catch up 13 pins. We need a couple miscues from the Garden Foundation, and then we'll be right back into where we need to be contention-wise. Now, Garden Foundation is more than capable to make up 100-plus pins by themselves on the scratch side. Campanelli right now starting with a two-pin. And I really think the first two frames on scratch, I really think, is going to really set up the mood and the theme. If Garden Foundation can come out swinging and Murder Inc. can't start stringing, it's going to be uh-oh. Uh, however, if Murder Inc. can hold their own and make it tight, I mean, that's what Murder Inc.'s got to do. Murder Inc. has got to hold the wood tight here. Wow. Thank God they used the one sub already. They did use the one sub. You cannot, he's right, you cannot take Hose out. They've already used the sub. Oh. Let's say a little bit more about this. Meanwhile, Prime is six in a row. Wow. Uh, the UBA, you can only use one sub, and they used it on Brian Spencer, who shot a 169 in game one. And Hose right now, if he's lucky, he's going to shoot a 190 in game two. And right now, that, that second, that second pair, well, speaking of lucky, looks like he'll make it. Maybe he does. But right now, that handicap pair, and this is something that Garden Foundation is really good at, which is find a weak pair, exploit Garden it, Foundation, and turn it on. Garden Foundation starts off scratch, all strikes. Murder Inc. Ten pin, ten pin, mush up. Yeah, mush up. Let's let's see what mush does over here. Meanwhile, let's before we do that, let's see what the G does over here. Nope, two pin. The G had the front seven, leaves a two pin. Nice run by the G. More importantly, again, it keeps Murder Inc. focused. And if T Shook doesn't strike here, then they're going to increase their lead over split, on the handicap side. Split by mush. Murder split Inc. Mush. Murder Inc. Did not start out the game like they were supposed to. They didn't start off the game like they did the first two. That's absolutely right. Tishuk right now looking to strike. And seven pen. But again, Garden Foundation, meanwhile, need to do 
me, and they, they need their scratch to lead off and start clipping out the wood because you know Murder, Inc. again is going to start hitting with the wood. And now let's go over to this, that second pair. That second pair is still in the second game. They're in the ninth frame. Murder, Inc. is up by around 20 pins. A double over here will make a 30. Troy Hooper right now with a spare. Gonzalez right now is going to be up. Both bowlers are on spares. Still pretty close. 19 pin, technically 19 pins, but again, Murder Inc. is on a double. That is the only person that can be on a double. Both anchor bowlers are on spares. So assuming that you have both marks here, Murder Inc. should be up by around 30 going into the 10th frame on that third pair. Speaking of which, Hable right right now, look at the strike he does. That guarantees Murder Inc. will be up by at least 30 going into the 10th frame. That's... that's Oh, and it's in the 10th frame by up 30 oh, on, on, on one one person on a string. I mean, you can sit there and say it's a lock, but at any point in time, somebody can sit there and open up and double back up. Well, it's, it's going, first of all, Garden Foundation, you can assume that they can go out the door. So there's no such thing as a lock. And if Murder Inc. did what they did at the end of game two, which is open, open, mm -hmm. then it's definitely not a lock. Meanwhile... Over here, we finally got a strike on the board from Murder, Inc. in the second frame. However, Kevin Yero with the double. Here comes, here comes Robert Mockenhout, potentially with the double. Prentice right now with the double. Doubles. Clary right now with the double. Doubles all around. Doubles all around, but not by Campanelli. There's a four pin. Now, how much pin? pressure is Garden Foundation going to put on Murder, Inc. It on scratch? Meanwhile, on Handicap, let's go over to the 10th frame. Big double over. Big double over yeah. by Jonathan Adams. <laughs> that puts Stawicki on notice. And again, if you're Murder Inc., you don't necessarily need to go off the door because if you're Stawicki, just because Brigantino and Wright do have a double and a strike, respectively. However, you don't want to open the door here. And he does not with the strike. Big strike by Stawicki over there. Again, trying to cut this down. Again, looking at the scoreboard, it's 19 pins. But again, a double and a strike makes they it again run it in line. They Seven run it in, in a row from Primus. And they're doing exactly what they need to do, which is run it up. Primus is nodding up in his head up and down in agreement on that one. Going back over to 10th frame, we have Stowicki versus Adams. Adams over here looking to throw another strike, cut another 20 pins down into that lead. And he will not do a 10 pin. Again, advantage murder, Inc. On, on that second handicap, what's the third pair? Mush still can't figure and it out. And Mush can not only can't figure it out. Again, you you have a potential situation here. If Thompson throws another strike, and he will, uh -oh. that is six and zero from Garden Foundation. Remember, Murder Inc. had the front twelve, and they still lost to Magic Garden Foundation. If Garden Foundation has the first twelve, how's Murder Inc. gonna respond? Uh, and Murder Inc.'s not throwing a lot of strikes right now, unlike Garden Foundation, which did carry. However, big double here by Stowicki. Murder Inc. will remain. Up by around 30, make that 40 pins up on the handicap side. And Tish right now, that is not going to be a strike, and that means in the middle pair, Murder Inc. is going to be up by at least 140 going into the 10th. More importantly, they have doubles by Prentice and Primus, and a strike from Myers, who could go out the door for 279. Potentially, if Garden Foundation does not show up in the 10th frame, and Murder, Inc. does, Murder, Inc. can take this pair by 200 uh -oh. pins. Uh-oh. Murder, Inc. can take this by 200 pins. Ducky, you're lucky right now. What's going on? What's going on in your mind at this moment in that middle pair? Garden Foundation down by 200, going in, and, and them knowing that they need every win today, that's not sitting, that's not sitting well. We haven't, and we also haven't heard from, uh, I had to look around first before I said, do the, the name drop. <laughs> we still haven't seen uh, Mr. Frederick said it anywhere as long. I know. Ma Mac's no longer here. Mac was here at the beginning. Mac yeah. was talking a lot. Mac's not here he anymore. Might be, he might be in there buying, buying, buying shots Could be in the bar. from the wall. Could be buying shots for himself <laughs> at this moment. All right. I'm going to hear from Jason Harden today. He's so, Jay, 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 come around here. Don't Let's let's avoid the camera. Okay. I was going to say, if that, that camera moves, it's going to be very hard to set up here. So, uh, Joe Prentice looking for, I mean, it's almost certainly game over, but Joe Prentice looking for a 10-point dagger. And I mean that for the overall award, doesn't do it. So, Jason Harden, what do you feel about your team's performance so far? 
Jason Harden is speechless right now, which is never good for live TV. Anthony, what do you think about the teams going so far? We're looking good on the middle pair right now. The scratch pair, we're getting fucked up. Uh, but as long as we keep playing. Oh, I'm sorry. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. We're live. We're live. We're live. I'm, I'm telling Ducky. Ducky's being a gentleman here. <laughs> and, and, and now I've got you, who's, who should be used to these interviews with Mr. Potty Mouth right now. That was very inappropriate of me. How many re-racks are we allowed? Because that's Rusty's third re-rack. And he should have... This is, this is on the insane. I don't know. You'll have to get the re-rack judge over here. I, I can't tell you that. But yeah. Uh, both handicapped pairs were looking good. Mush, Scratch, mush, we're just my Scratch doing all good. Three guys lost right now besides Camp. Camp has a decent look still. It's too late. The problem with Scratch. Garden Foundation is more than capable of beating you by 200 pins, especially when they have the front nine, and that is exactly what Garden Foundation has started with nine in a row. Now keep in mind, you guys had the front four in game one, and you lost. Yes, we, we had the front four in everybody in game one, but we, they didn't start. DGF didn't start the blue start. No, they did not. Plenty of game left. As long as we keep the wood close, we'll be able to cover it. Well, here's the problem right now. DGF is up by 100 after three frames on the scratch side. Yipes. Yikes. But my man. You, you want to talk about making up a 100 pin, pin lead? That's a good way to do it. We got this. We'll be all right, Gordon. We'll be fine. Over anybody here. All right, Joe, now Joe is complaining about something. Joe said he didn't he said hit his he average. average. Uh, he's right. He's only got a 212 instead of a 220. He didn't hit his average, Mush. Yeah. Well, Mush, Mush right now is very focused, concentrating on the scratch pair. Scratch pair right now. Again, smoke like a salmon, Mush. By the way, happy Passover. As a fellow Jew, I'd like to wish everybody a happy Passover. Salmon, really, really good with matzo and cream cheese. Not really good if you're losing by 120 pins. And Mush is saying every pin, every pin, and he, and he means that for a reason. Uh, because Murder Inc. will win, however, and a big however here. And, and a how, however, and a big however here. Uh, Mush right now. Uh, is looking to see his team go down. Two, four, and five. Hard. Right now, nobody on Murder Inc. on the scratch side is thrown a double. Campanelli is going to make sure of that. So I got a trivia question coming up, and I'm and I'm and I'm going to see here. This is a recent trivia question. So if you've been paying attention to the UBA, especially the playoffs last season, this will be a fun trivia question. Talk so. about playoffs and stuff like that. Playoffs. Talking about playoffs. <clears throat> Murder Inc. Murder Inc. Scratch pairs looking like the Philadelphia Eagles. The second half. Or the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> Atlanta Falcons. The Super Bowl. Like, to New England Patriots. Hey. This is not. Oh, you're right. The, this the is not. The offense of the Eagles anemic at this moment. This is not There's the an same open. Murder Inc. That that started out game two. Like like they was on fire and they was all motivated. And all of a sudden this this game right here. If the lights came back on and it was like, uh-oh, what happened? Well, uh, well, here's a bigger uh-oh, and I'll explain it momentarily. Right now, we have, uh, let's see, are we going to get a strike or spare anything from Mush? Mush with the lunge, which was a strike. However, and a big however here, you can already tell on scratch, Murder, Inc. is down by, let's see here, my mat, well, 70 plus. He's got, they got two marks over here. So they're gonna be at least down by another one. So 110, 120, another strike here. They're gonna be down by 130, which again will match what the heck happened over on the handicap side, which means all of a sudden, no, 10 pins. All of a sudden, what the scratch is doing is going over the handicap side on both teams and going, you know what, we got you. We're going to make up that deficit. You guys don't have to win by 100. You guys only need to win by like 40 or 50 each, and we'll the get the scores. overall wood. Renee, you got everything? How do you get the, the back scores? Yeah. So, Renee, our official UB scorekeeper, Renee, a.k.a. Little Red, writing down the scores. And we like to thank her for her statistician work. Neji right now looking good. This is 279. Big strike over there. Again, if you are Murder, Inc., you need to build this up as much as humanly possible. Especially when you see what Garden Foundation is doing over on the scratch side. That looks like a small strike from Brett, but it's actually a bigger one for Tish. Thank you. Because, again, you want to cut the overall wood down. Because now, instead of being up or down by a lot, it's down by a little. Kevin Aaron right now, his strike spring stops. There's a three pin now. What Murder Inc. needs to do, and Anthony is right, they got to keep it close. 
they cannot repeat, cannot get blown out by 150 pins on the scratch side because they will give back what they're doing on the handicap side. Plus one. They beat them by 726. So right now the wood on the handicap side. Here, I'll let you talk about it, Ducky. All right, after game, after game two in a handicap two, <clears throat> Nick 222, Chris 245, uh, right 190. There are 696. Then you have John 213, Al 180, Manuel 227 for 670. The Garden Foundation is holding on total wood by one pin on that pair. One pin. One pin. All right, now we're going to finish this up. Then I'll give you a UBA trivia question. I was wondering, do I make this easy? Do I make this medium? Do I make this hard? I'm, I'm going to make this a current event UBA question. So if you've been following the UBA last season, especially last season's playoffs, you'll have an edge on this. So I'll give you a hint. If you're watching and you got resources, look up last season's playoffs because that's going to be the theme of the trivia question. Meanwhile, Najee Meyer is finishing with a very impressive 279. The quote handicap team, quote unquote, will finish with a 750 scratch. That means each bowler scratch is averaging 250. That's not exactly what you consider a handicap pair, nope, is it? Not even close. So. Doing good. How you doing? Right, right now, Murder Inc. Happy with what they're seeing at this moment. Even though I'm not not used to seeing you with the facial hair at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, we're all right. You're all right, you're all right. Everything is good. That looks like a baby motor ink over here. What's up? Hey. So right now, another strike from Tishak. He will finish with the 214. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, now the game two is over, I'm going to ask you a trivia question. Everybody ready? Here we go. Now your theme is last season's playoffs. Garden Foundation was one of a couple of teams, and I got another trivia question, but we'll do this one first. Garden Foundation was one of was one of a number of teams that had a second chance going into the playoffs. They actually lost, and be, but because they had overall wood, they were able to make the playoffs in the next round. Who beat them in the next round? No answer, because you may know the answer. You know the answer? Elijah thinks he knows the answer, but he's not allowed to say anything. So the first time around, they got eliminated the first time around by Murder, Inc. Who beat them the second time in the playoffs? That is the question. I'm going to write down the answer and give it to Tony. I'm not going to say he's asking me to give him the answer. I'm going to write it down here. Meanwhile, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to see if anybody's got the answer. Oh, somebody came in immediately. Uh, yes, Murder Inc. beat them the first time. Class Axe is incorrect. That is not the right answer. Class Axe actually got knocked out the same round that Garden Foundation did. So, still nothing. Oh, everybody's taken now. It's still not Class X. Oh, no, not Secret Society. Keep going. And, and I know this because I got ragged by this team many, many times saying, oh, you think that we weren't going to beat them? Ha, ha, ha. We did. We shot the world. And I'll give you another hint. That's the wrong district. You got the right conference, wrong district. So meanwhile, while they're trying to figure that out, so meanwhile, we're, we're going to go chatting over here. All right, I'm going to see. All right, I'm going to see if Ducky knows the answer. Write down what you think the answer is. The be the Garden Foundation. That be yeah. Write it down though. On do do uh, not say it. Yeah, yeah, uh, do not I, say I, it. I write it down. Yes. Now we got the right answer. No, it's not exit wounds. However, we got the right answer. The right answer is bulletproof. Oh, yeah, I knew that. It was bulletproof at Carolier. That is absolutely right. That is correct. Congratulations. You get a $25 gift card. We'll have more trivia. If you want, we'll do more trivia later. Meanwhile, we'll go back to the match. Now, meanwhile, I'm sitting down here. I'm here with... I am here with Ducky. Ducky needs alcohol in a game. No, no, dr no drinking yet. Ducky's dying over here. 
He's dying. We, we do not promote drinking during bowling That's or doing fine. the podcast. That's fine. I mean, Afterwards, if you have a designated driver, make sure you have a designated driver. I don't know. Let me start early. I might have to go to Carolier. Or, or I may have to go to Carolier if this ends early. That, that's sure. We've got all sorts of stuff going on. We have a Vixens match over there for the Vixens title. That, however, is later on in the day. Right now, we are still seeing on the scratch side a struggle for Murder, Inc. Garden Foundation's throwing a lot of strikes. Right now, Garden Foundation is up by 143 pins on the scratch game. Possibly more, depending on if Mush doesn't make the spare. I'm expecting that he will. So now, Ducky, do we know yet what the overall wood is? Right there. 11, 211 Murder pins for Murder, Murder Inc. Inc. Now, you think that's a lot, except Garden Foundation is up by 130 on the scratch with four frames left to go, and Murder Inc. doesn't look like that they're throwing strikes anytime in the future. The only person that's got anything is Nicholas Campanelli with the double. And got to go now. We're not going now. Still a six pin. And all of a sudden, I'm hearing some boo birds over here from Garden Foundation starting to chat. They need to chat a little Another. bit more. And now, let's go over here on the Another. handicap side. Because now, Garden Foundation not only has to win, they need to win by many. And if we're looking at right now, that's not happening. Murder Inc. is starting to get, take control on that third pair, or the second handicap pair. Though again, you're shooting 750. I'm not sure if it's handicap. No, 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 no. So D Ducky is shaking his hand violently, Alex, going, Alex, "That's not handicap." Alex, Alex is just an animal. Man. He went 300, 180 on pace for 279, and he's just so calm and collective. Like I, I, I would have been like. My shirt would have been ripped off for that 180 <laughs> game. I would have been pulling my brains out. Like, well, right, right now the question is, can Murder Inc. stem the tide? They're not stemming the tide very well on the scratch side. They've got to hold and hold serve on the handicap side. Handicap game, as we can see over here, that middle pair, and that's three in a row for Mock. Who's going to say Garden Foundation, not, not in danger of blowing the game open. They've already blown the game open. They're in danger of, of making up the 211 pins all by themselves on the scratch side. Mm -hmm. This is craziness over here that's that's going on. Campanelli right now had a 279, just left a two pin. He is the only person out of the three that's thrown a double in the scratch game right now. He hey, explain this. What, what's going on with the transition, Ducky? Transition got the best of the murder, ain't it? It's like somebody Oof. came by, somebody came by and sat there and said, uh it was it was too spicy to start over and they started back over from game one. Yeah, chop, oh chop, oh and all of a sudden an open From there, there is an open by Nicholas DeWicki and all of a sudden Garden Foundation is in business on the handicap side it got real quiet too it, it got real quiet in a hurry <laughs> it got real quiet I was going to say Garden Foundation right now let's let's focus over here on that third pair actually Hose, Hose with the double uh oh <laughs> hey, Lola, uh -oh. he's at ne Haas is saying never. It's starting to get a little that bit loud here. Cheese got in his As we expected <laughs> that it would, Tory Hooper with a double. All of a sudden, here comes the Garden Foundation. And Nick Brigantino, who I joking, uh, I mistakenly put on the scratch side, is now on the handicap side. And now Brigantino's got a little bit of pressure. That next ball, if he doesn't throw a strike, Garden Foundation is going to take the lead on that third pair. All of a sudden, now we got to get some noise. <laughs> Brigantino looking for the strike. He gets it. Three and a half. Had him in a headlock all fucking day. He ain't going to do nothing different. Language. 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 I know, I know. I apologize. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> all right. So what's what, 218? All right. What is 218, not 211? So the wood is 218. That again from our statistician, uh, Renee Radler, LKA a little bit. Thank you so much for being here. Little Red, everybody's got like 8,000 nicknames. Ducky, you only have one. What? Ducky, you got one nickname, you're Ducky. Yeah, 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 I'm Ducky. Everybody has like eight nicknames. You know, I have, I have uh, Jersey yeah. nicknames, but I mean, Garden Foundation day. right now is up four to three, and we're actually right now we need a mark from Havel. If he doesn't get it, Garden Foundation will take control of that third pair. Second pair right now. That's close. All three, well, two. The handicap players are close. Close. Scratch pair, not close. Right now, you have Derek Smith and Nicholas Campanelli with strikes in the eighth frame. And this is why it's important. You're getting blown out, but again, you've got to keep it close. You're up on the wood by 218 pins. 
Right now, if you're, you're losing that game by 150, which means all of a sudden, Garden Foundation, instead of having to win the other two games by 200 and change, only have to win by around 60. Mockenhout, four and seven, gets out of trouble. But again, I know everybody's making fun of this. You gotta look at the scoreboard. Scoreboard right now, boom, boom, with a double. Here comes Garden Foundation. Sort of knew this was gonna be coming around. Here's, oh, here's Mac. Hi, Mac. What happened? It is 2.18, yeah, we got it, 2.18. Yeah, no, I, I actually verbally made the correction. We have uh, a little bit corrected, so it's 2.18. So, Mac, talk to me about what's going on. I ain't been watching. I was at the bar. This ain't looking <laughs> too good for the moment, but we got some help. Hands down, we still going to win this whole thing. Well, Scratch is giving you a lot of help right now. Exactly. So Scratch is going to beat the brakes off of about like 300. Our uh, second handicap is going to pull up the rest, and we're going to get them right this pit here. They, they was feeling themselves on the second pit. Right now, the we'll only thing... We'll be right back at it. Yeah, we'll be right back after this is right. The only thing that's holding up the second handicap pair right now, the third pair, is Chris Brigantino. He's up. He's got front three, looking for front four. Does not do it. Ten pin, and now Murder Inc. with the strike over here. We'll take, we'll take the lead. Ah, uh, that ball fell in the gutter first. He didn't like the spare. Max said that anybody liked the spare, and all of a sudden we're getting a lot of chirping from Garden Foundation. Oh, uh, Max said pay up. <laughs> he wish it said bet good. No bet good. Hosier looking for front three over here. Oh! Everybody was making fun of Jim Hosier in game two, and there's a reason to because he shot, what, 179? got front three this game. We, we've got ourselves a match here. Let's go to the scratch, ninth frame again. Garden Foundation will take the game in the wood. The question is the margin of victory because that's huge at this moment. Kevin here right now looking for four in a row. That's buried, that's gonna force. Now back over to Derek Smith. Mm. A double by Derek will be really huge. Again, Murder Inc's gotta start showing up with doubles in the ninth frame. If they don't, they are in danger of losing the wood in one game. <laughs> Primus <laughs> has got the same earrings, according to him. I don't know what that means exactly. What I do know is that Derek Smith just hit a huge the double in the ninth frame. Today. Again, overall Woods about his 10 points. Dishuk here looking for six in a row. He doesn't get it, 10 Looking for six in a row from Garden Foundation. Did not get it. That gives Murder Inc. a little bit of breathing room here. The G. Myers, a.k.a. Fat Boy. Double will give, Murder Inc. will keep them with the lead, albeit under 10, but they'll still have the lead. Mocking up right now, look what the carry gets it. Now, big, big strike over here from Campanelli coming up, or big shot from him. If it's a strike again, they need to cut the wood down. You don't want to lose by 150, you really don't want to balloon and get out of the way. Blow that up, does not make the double. There's a two pin. Tisha oh, looking to make the spare here. This time he'll make it. Didn't make it in the ninth frame. However, right now, you got a 5-3 run by Garden Foundation. They will be up by around 10. Assuming again that Myers makes the spare, which I expect that he will. Von Thompson right now, it's a little high. Doesn't matter. Gets it. Four run, four strike run by the Garden Foundation. More importantly, they're all on strikes going into 10th frame. And Mush will not be. Murder Inc. with a double. And not the right double. You got a 2 8 over there. Joe. They're like, you don't like the hassle, we know it. Mush right now smiling. Everybody's smiling. Mush right now really cannot be none of Murder Inc. can be smiling at the scores in the scratch pair right now. He'll make the spare. So 5 4 going into the 10th frame. Right now it is a 150 pin game. Murder Inc., if they can hold serve here, it won't be that bad because, again, they'll still have the wood by around 60, 70 pins, and they're going to leave it up to the handicap side. However, at a big however, they can also let this go down. If they go open, open, open like they did game two, Garden Foundation, if they take advantage, could wipe out that 218 pin deficit that they're facing about. This. All right, here we go. First shot, Dark Smith. Oh, my goodness. Four, six, ten. And here we go. Now, all of a sudden, again, look at this. It is a 141 pin deficit. If Kevin Euro can go out, Gordon Foundation will be up by over 200 pins on the scratch side. 
And, and Mush is screaming his heart out right now. Cavanero coming up. First ball coming in. That's good. Gordon Foundation Animal. pouring it on Animal. on the scratch side. Derek Smith looking to make a spare here, at least get two. He gets two. Derek Smith's going to finish with yipes. 167 for Derek Smith. The only and lefty on the pair, 167. The lefties have not been, this is, house has not been treating good to lefties. Usually, lefties have some sort of issue. Not, not today. No advantage here today on the lefty side. Now it's going to come down to the handicap side. But first again, here's Kevin Nero. Oh, okay, now, now, meanwhile, what's going on? Hurry up, hurry up. Then Craig Prime is looking for four in a row. He doesn't get it. Now it's Jim Hoser's turn for four in a row. If he gets it, and, and now all of a sudden, Brigantino, Murder Inc. is starting to stop striking. And you can't do that now, especially Garden Foundation continues to strike. Hoser right now on three, looking for four. Four here will give Garden Foundation the lead on the middle side. There it, oh, yo! I was going to say, no, 7-pin, seven 7-pin seven falls down. Gordon Foundation now up. Murder Inc. right now, well, that's less than 10 pins now on the on the uh, third pair. Murder Inc. is still up, but that's close. Gavinero looking for another strike here. Meanwhile, while we have that, Campanelli right now looking for the strike, which it would have given some wood. It doesn't. There's a 10-pin. Gavinero responds with the strike. Remember what we were saying, that was a 218 pin lead. That 218 pin lead, oh my goodness, oh, there's an open by Campanelli. What is going on here, Ducky? Oh, that is Oh boy. It looks like, it looks like the Garden Foundation has took their season back. Well, Garden Foundation not only have gotten their season back, they make a big win here. Tishuk with a strike. Garden Foundation's gonna be a four to three on the wood in the middle of pair. So they're gonna be up by over 10. That was ugly, but ugly is beautiful. Because all the pins go down. Final shot by Caranero. Strikes here for 279. If he gets it, he does. So 300. You know, soon as 300 came the first bar, they game, start striking even more. On the last game. What the <laughs> heck was that game, we game two? Right. What did I tell y'all five minutes ago? What did I tell y'all five minutes ago? Everything was going to be okay. That's what he said. Everything was going to be okay. He came out oh. the bar and everybody started waking back up. Yeah, well, well Mush finally has a strike. However, it's and this is, one of my, this is one of my favorite phrases. Murder Inc. on the scratch side has locked the door after the horses have eaten the children. Because uh, th those children have gotten eaten up. Save the kids. Save, save the children. And right, right now the children go to the Garden Foundation side. Rob Mockenhau can go out the door with the 257. And right now, Garden Foundation could be up by 200. And that is before Rusty Thompson shows up. Big strike by Rob Mockenhau. One plus 170 right now by Garden Foundation with at least two strikes to go. That's uh, right crazy. now, Mush, the best that he can do is add 20 more pins, which will match Rob Mockenhau's second shot. Right. So right now, they will be up by around 170, and they still have another bowler to go. Definitely, definitely Mush right just now, got to have the strike. No, 10 pin. That was a good shot, however, and a big however here. Uh, and this is sort of shades of what happened on that toy stop that we covered between Voodoo uh, and uh, between Voodoo and South Jersey Strike Force, the Strike Force in Game Three stopped striking. Mm -hmm. Voodoo won that game by 235 pins on the scratch side. That eventually salted the match. That's a 7-10. They they needed that a while ago, and a big while ago. Said it's not going to help you. However, that 218 pin wood is gone. Mm -hmm. Whether or not whoever wins this match is now going to be decided by the handicap pair. Scratch for the Garden Foundation. Scratch has done their job. Murder Inc. was up by 218 pins going into game three. If you get, if, if Rusty Thompson hits the first two, that's gone. That's all gone. All right, we're still going to focus here. and We're still going to stay on the scratch side. Then we're going to go on the handicap side. Because Murder Inc. Right, right now fighting for, fighting for the games on both of them. Primus right now does not get a strike. Hose is looking for five in a row on the handicap side. So we've got that, and we've got Rusty Thompson. 
So now, here we go. Let's see, what are we going to get first? Here's Thompson. Thompson throws a strike here. The wood's going to be gone. And there goes the wood. Wood is gone. Now, if Hosier suits a strike here, Garden Foundation will have the wood for the first time in the match. And they will not 7 pick. Back and forth. Ducky, what's going on here? I'm Ducky just, is just shaking his head. Like, I'm, what's I'm, going I'm, on here? Like, I'm trying to figure this out. Now, now, since they said there, uh, Craig said there and mentioned the earrings, Craig has the left cross, I'm sorry, the right cross. <laughs> and Jim fashion sense over and the Jim, UBA. And Jim has the left left cross. They literally just said to say, hey, you, let's split the earrings <laughs> today. So right now, so here's the thing. That's Total crazy. wood going into game three was 218 pins. Yes. Garden Foundation will win this game by over 218 pins on the scratch side. Yes. A strike Great. here, and they will win the scratch by 227 pins. Adris Evan, nah, Adris is behind me. Adris, Adris, part of Murder Inc.'s championship team. He he bowled in the championship series match. And, and yipes. Come on, G. Yeah, boy. Big shot by my Dean Myers. We're going to finish this out on the scratch side. However, Garden Foundation, that's only an eight, but Garden Foundation is going to win this game by 225. And wow, Garden Foundation does their job on the scratch side. With a vengeance, they will win by 225. Garden Foundation now stopped the wood by seven pins. And now we're gonna flip over to the handicap side, which is tight. Right now, Garden Foundation, let's see what we have over here. Right, right now, right now it's a less than 10 pin game. Murder Inc. has got the advantage because then G. Myers got a double off to potential spare by Brent Tisha. Well, right now, Garden Foundation is still up by five. Let's go over to third one. So right now, we have a spare from Nick Stowicki. It is Murder, Inc. is up by around 20. However, double on the board from Garden Foundation and the leadoff bowler. It's now an 11-pin game on the handicap side. So right now, it's anybody's game on either. And it may have been a good thing that Murder, Inc. won that second game by a lot because they're going to need every single pin. And right now, Ducky, talk to me about the scratch. All right, after scratch is done, finished off, you have Garden Foundation winning the match 8-2 plus 238. 238 on, on scratch alone. Like, so that's insane. They're up. Garden Foundation's up 238. We're looking for people to double and carry. Brigantino thought he did. That ball was not a well-placed ball. Garden Foundation right now, assuming they make their spares, they're going to be up on both handicaps. Melanie Cleary got another one. Strike for Cleary. Boom, boom, with the strike. Right now, Prentice is up on the lineup for Murder, Inc. Prentice looking to cut the lead down to 17. He will. Big strike by 17. Now, theoretically, again, Garden Foundation only up by 7 because Majin Myers is up by, has got a double to Prentice's despair. Meanwhile, Mush is done with scratch. Mush is trying to talk his team. Big shot here by Myers, by the way. He's on a four-bagger. I'm sorry, not Myers, right. Right, right now on a four bagger that will keep him in pace 4-4, four, four, assuming that we don't get an open from Garden Foundation. I have no idea what the heck that was. Oh, uh, speaking of opens. Speaking of opens, 4-6-7 from Hose. I called that shit. Well, there's a Hose looking for a strike, not getting it. There's a double. However, much makeable spare for Murder, Inc. than it does over here. You want to talk about people losing their voice? I may lose my voice by the end of this. It was real quiet until IEDs got here. <laughs> it was real quiet. It was real quiet. Now it's starting to get real Scratch. Loud. How's your voice holding up, Ducky? Look, I'm getting the chills. Just here. This is, holy uh, shit. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Your arm hands are staring up. Goosebumps. Got boost bumps. Looking for the double. Makes a spare. So right now, Murder Inc. can take the lead again. Uh, right now, you're looking for a strike from Hable Wright for Murder, Inc. And a strike on the other side from Eugene Myers. Both of them for Murder, Inc. That's going to determine whether or not they're going to be in the lead in their respective games. Going into the eighth frame on both. Big shot here. Did not 
get it. There's the four. Wow. Okay, now both Gordon Foundation bowlers are on spares. One of them has got the spare successfully. Tish right now over here, Gordon Foundation. That ball's got to hurry. It does not. Hold up. This ain't PA. Hold up. It's not PA, apparently. Prentice, well, Prentice has gotten 800s in both, in, in both New York and New Jersey and PA. And, however, he doesn't have a strike. Four in a row. Gene Myers right now, four in a row for Murder, Inc. Murder, Inc. right now, assuming that again, TJ gets a spare. He's already missed a 10 pin. He's not going to miss that one. Let's go. Nope. Made it. Right now, it is Murder, Inc. that is up. They're up by 15 as we go to the seventh frame there. A frame, Garden Foundation has now made this now. Murder, Inc. again, up by a little bit more 10 on both pairs. Garden Foundation right now with the one strike. Bush is saying that they make spare shots at the end. They did not make shots at the end of that 10th frame and scratch, which is why Garden Foundation is actually up in the match. However, right now with the one, here's McCleary, and there's a double. Four frames left to go, and whoever's going whoever's gonna to strike and carry is going to win this match. Ducky, I think strikes are going to be better than spares at this point. It's going to be a striking game, not a spare game. These spares, these averages. <laughs> I'm looking at the scratch pair, like the scratch, 617, 614. Oh! And Joe Prentice. Joe Prentice with that ball will guarantee that he will not make his average for another game. He but will not make his average. But more importantly, that average. may have opened up the door. Let's because go. now there's a gutter and an open. An open from next to Wiki. A potential open. We got a 2-4-10 oh. on lane 22. And a gutter. All of a sudden, the door, the floodgates have opened up here for Murder, Inc. And not in a good way. Needs to go oh. another. Can you imagine Ooh. how loud it's going to be with another gutter, Ducky? Nigel. Nigel's right up in it. Say, do you say nothing no, all day? Hopefully, he'll at least make the spare. Oh, zero nine. Hey, What's going on here? He ain't saying nothing all day. He's sitting there just chewing his, chewing his tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> now, and he was very quiet, and now all of a sudden hey, he's, he's getting loud, friend. like everybody else. And now all of a sudden, two doubles to a gutter. Just Garden Foundation now the overall wood. Hell no! Well, here's well, here's the thing That's now. Opens are, spares are more important than opens. So, at, and you're hey, right. They, at least now, all of they made a spare. spare. Now, that being said, whether or not this game is going to be won or lost, they're going to be down to the anchors. I hope you guys can hear me. It's very loud over here. My voice may be all gone by the end of this. Oh. Speaking of opens, <laughs> Murder Inc. is falling apart right now as we speak. We've got a gutter, oh, open, another open on the other side. And I'm not even asked right now, Murder Inc., what's going on because I'm not sure the whole going to be able to I'll understand or the whole bowling energy center, language right now. The whole bowling center is almost done. So we are getting a crowd behind us now. Oof. Yeah, if, if it wasn't crowded before, it's crowded this now, like, and it was crowded before. This is battle right now, ball. Double strike. Garden Foundation right now on both matches have a double to a double. Hose, the difference between Hose and Primus. Hose left a makeable spare. He made it. Primus has got to join serve now. Big, big strikes coming up for Najee Myers. Hold up, the ball be right back. Ah, and he will right right now. Abel Wright's got to throw a strike. Makes the spare. Big shot by Primus. Fuck you talking about, ho? That is a huge strike from Primus. Now comes back down to the team Meyer. Again, Meyer's got a strike that here. You got to hold the fort here. Great shot. And again, the overall wood is important. That Martin was Foundation a huge the overall shot. Wood. That was huge. Welcome to the UBA, oh gentlemen. Oh, my. Big shot right here by Tish. Temp will not go down. Now, back to the G Myers, and I'm really glad there's no video camera because now me and Ducky are both standing. Oh, I'm not, I'm not standing. All right. Not Abel yet. makes the spare. However, it is not a strike. Garden Foundation right now is up by 14 on the third pair. Fat boy! Right now is the double. Big strike there by Meyer. Right now, Murder, Inc. I'm too short. 
Oh, everybody was yelling at, at, at Brent Tishuk missing the spare. He wasn't missing that. He said it's plastic. I, I know he Brent Tishuk for very, very, very many years. He's not missing that. However, and a big however, we kind of have a miss from Nick Stawicki. Speaking of misses, there's one there. Jonathan Adams, and I haven't said his name much, has got the biggest shot in the match right now for Garden Foundation going into the ninth frame. Big shot coming up, gets it. Four in a row from Jonathan Adams. Garden Foundation right now was up by 16. They're now gonna be up by 36. More importantly, the Wood, which was taken care of on the scratch side, now comes into play. And now it is Murder Inc. that's gotta hold on serve. Melanie Cleary looking for the strike, doesn't get it. It's covered the wood, so now is this. Right now, Garden Foundation is up. However, they're only up by five. A strike by Najee Myers. And Murder Inc. will retake the lead on the middle pair again. Wood is important. Got to get one. Almost got two. Overall, Wood is very, very important. And right now, overall, Wood is in the hands of the Garden Foundation. Alex Cavanier right now asking about the Wood. I gotta ask Alex right now. Alex, describe the chaos that's going on right now here in the handicap side. Just another weekend at UBA. Well, you're not wrong. Well, what what, what else is another week in the UBA? Is you guys winning that last pair by 235? It's these two teams. It's just always like this. What, I'm sorry. What did you say? You guys won the scratch by 230 something or uh, 228 pins or some ridiculous number like that. That's also usual for you guys because the scratch, as Ducky has said, is a straw that stirs the drink. Talk to me. Uh, this is only like my second time bowling here, but the lanes change really quick and we beat that pair up, so, so I'll bowl 180 the second game. We figured out the last game. Hi, series. Congratulations on the series. Thank you. And congratulations on the track. Thank you. He says that like he does it almost all the time, and quite honestly, he really almost does do it yeah. almost all the time. You I almost said do it, it every time. It, yeah. Almost every time you expect a 300 from Garden Foundation, and I actually sort of said that there would be. Pose right now, looking to get back on the strike wagon. Oh! Oh! And he won't do it this time either. Ten pin. Now, Najee Myers right now. Jay Myers right now looking to get the wood back from Murder Inc. And they need to because if you're looking on the other side, Garden Foundation right now opening up a lead. And right now it says the difference is 15. Garden Foundation is a double to an open. That's going to be tight. Overall wood's going to be real tight. The question's going to become, and here's Jay Myers right now looking for a big shot right here. Ooh, almost got it. Six pin up here. Now the question becomes, can Murder Inc. win the middle handicap by more than Garden Foundation can win the end handicap? If the answer is yes, they will win. If the answer is no, Garden Foundation wins. It is that simple. Hose is looking to make the spare. He will. Garden Foundation right now is down by a little bit. It's going to be assuming that Tish gets a mark or a strike. They'll be down by around 13 pins. Right, right now with a strike. However, 5-3 Garden this Foundation. Is... Garden Foundation will be up by 35, which is almost what Murder Inc. is going to be up by in the middle pair, depending on what Brent Tushik does. It's like you're watching a mirror. You got to go back and forth. It, it is. It's like, it's like so close, but so far away. Everything is, everything is tight right now. And now the pressure's on Murder Inc. because Garden Foundation, because of their scratch performance, Garden Foundation has got the wood. And they won the wood by 238 pins. Murder Inc. is up by a lot. Brent, oh my goodness. Huge break by Brent Tishik. There's the strike. Brent. Hey, Brent. Hey, we had to pull it out of your pocket with a little extra kick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, Garden Foundation. Murder Inc. is up by 15 as we go into the ninth. However, let's go into the 10th frame because that is the gauntlet right now. Jonathan Adams now has got five in a row. That puts Murder Inc. up. Stowicki right now, again, he's got to go out, keep the wood low. I said that about Garden Foundation in the second game. Now I've got to say that about Murder Inc. this game. Murder Inc.'s got to hold on. And, and they got to throw some strikes. Matt. Murder Inc. Oh, uh, right, right now, Ma Max talking now. I'm losing all my voice right now. No, you don't. All right, wait, right now we got a little carpet betting on the sideline. On whether or not it's going to strike or not. It's going to be fun right now. 
All right, back to Prentice. There's one. Ball didn't go in the gutter this time. He's almost wishing the ball did go into the gutter. That's a 4-6-7. Ducky, talk to me. Joe needs to go back to the south, get his bowling game, because he is not a 220 bowler, and he is showing that he's a 2-0 bowler. But then again, everybody today is, was struggling. He he's throwing his zen. Like that's his problem too. <laughs> Murder Inc. He's throwing was throwing a year thing ball. Murder Inc. was not struggling in game two. They're struggling in game three. Again, their anchors are the only thing that's bailing them out right now. Najee Myers can go out the door for 259. Hale can go off for 240. That's and that ball didn't hold up. Big strike from Hose. And right now, it is down to Murder Inc.'s anchors, really. Najee Myers in the middle. Havel right at the end. Havel does have some help from Chris Brigantino. So, Nick Stowicki right now will finish it off with 181. The difference right now between Murder Inc. and Garden Foundation on that right pair is around 33, 32 pins, depending on what Jonathan Adam does. Jonathan Adams is going to finish in the 240s, 244, 245. Again, this is what you expect from these guys. Oh, well, that's a miss, but that's not a terrible miss. It's on the fill in the frame and the 10th, so 244. Garden Foundation up by 30. Both bowlers over here are doubles. If Murder Inc. is going to make some hay, this is where they need to make the hay. If they even up, then Garden Foundation does not need a mark to win the game. So this is what needs to happen here. Brigantino needs to throw a strike, and they need Hoop to go oops. They need an oopy from Hoopy. Brigantino right now, first shot, gotta have it. He's got it. Big strike from Brigantino. That's three in a row from him. Murder Inc. right now, only down three, and they need anything from Hoop that is not a strike. If he does not strike here, crowd's gonna get very loud. Crowd's gonna get very, well, not so loud. Not thought it was gonna be. Not, well, if that, was, if that was a 10 that went along with the four, crowd's gonna get real loud. So if that, if that was an open situation, it's going to be really loud. However, right right now, Murder, Murder Inc.'s a little bit softer because they sort of see what's going on in the background. Garden Foundation with a 4-2 run in the middle pair has just taken the lead. Brigantino does not get the second strike. Double over here. There's Sporty over here from Exit Wound, second place. Sporty's enjoying this, I think. Exit Wounds take 32. 32-8 Exit Wounds. That, that's going to make it real, real fun come the next position round. 32 right now. That may move Exit Wounds into first. However, we'll get to that momentarily. Right now, we're going to finish this out. 235 from Brigantino. That's going to finish. Meanwhile, Cleary with a double. Garden Foundation now have the lead in the middle pair. And again, if they stay with the lead on both pair, they're going to take the wood. They're going to get the win. Let us not write off Garden Foundation. That's what they're saying. Hooper right now is going to finish with a 216. Right now, 23 pin lead over by Garden Foundation. So again, sort of similar. Garden Fou Murder Inc. needs a strike up from Havel, and they need a mistake from Manny Gonzalez. Havel's up here and must have a strike and he's right and he gets it. Now, here's the situation. Manny gets Manny gets a strike here, the game's over. Manny gets any makeable mark and good count, the game is over. If Manny opens up, game's not over. Mm. So here we go, Manny Gonzalez is up. Meanwhile, Clear they had her on the bench. The strike. They had her on the bench and they brought her out. <laughs> that looks like a very good sub adjustment right now. Because she's going to go out with the 214. She's going to beat Joe Prentice Scratch, which is what they needed. This is for the game set and match on the third side. Tempe. All right, so game is not over yet. If Havel strikes, then Gonzalez needs to make the spare. Yes. All of a sudden, it got a little loud again. Prentice right now looking for the strike. Doesn't get it. Fell in the ninth. All right, so right now, hey, Gordon, Gordon Joey didn't make his up. average. No, Joe still did not make his average. <laughs> All right, does he make the spare? He does. What if it's 7-10? Oh, I did. He heard it. All right, Havel's got to return serve here. Now, again, mathematically, big move for Gordon Foundation. But in the woods of Gordon Foundation, make him shoot it. 
make, make him earn it in the words. So right now it's a three pin game. That means Gonzalez needs an eight or better. Eight or better for the win. Seven is a tie. Anything less than that and it becomes potential for murder season. Meanwhile, let's go over here. I gotta have the strike here, gets it. Gotta have it, because again, same situation Murder Inc. is in. They got a strike out, and they need some mistakes from Garden Foundation at the end. That is not a mistake, that is nine, that's enough. Garden Foundation will take that third game. And it looks like, again, they will, Garden Foundation looks like they'll take the overall wood if and if both Hose and Brent hold serve. There you go. Big shot here from Hoser. Strike keeps him in the lead. And does not have it. Got a 3-5. 3-5. Now, again, if he makes the spare, they'll still maintain the lead. However, and a big however, second strike here coming up. Got it. Now, a strike. A strike, again, I'm the, sorry, not a strike, a spare, Garden Free Nation will have the lead because they'll be up a double to a mark. Or a double to a strike, I should say. Big shot here from Hose. If he strikes, they have the lead. If he chops, he, they won't. I heard chop three behind me. That did not happen. He makes the spare. So right now, it is a fairly even game. Again, you're, you're looking at... Right, what? I said my math came to that right, but I think I got... Uh, looks like A2 Gordon Foundation. I think you're absolutely right there. Plus six. Plus six. That looks about right. He's looking for all of it. That is a big non-strike right there, and I will explain momentarily. It's a big non-strike because instead of being up by 12, which gives them a lead by two, they're up by 10. If Hoser strikes, it's an even game. Gordon Foundation will be up by 10. And more importantly, they will not have the over carry or the over pin count, or one or two pins to worry about because they'll be even. Now, big shot by Hose. Again, Phil is very important here. That ball looks good. It, oh, my goodness. All right, so it's eight. That does mean Murder Inc. is still up by two, so they've got a little bit, the teeniest of advantages going in. And I say teeniest because, again, theoretically, Gordon Foundation is up double to a strike. Here's G. Myers. If he wants to put pressure on Brent Tishuk, he's got to throw a strike right here. Here's the shot. No, you're good. G. Meyer strike, gotta have it. We'll see what the crowd says. That's what the crowd says. Big strike here. Again, this is not just about the game. This is also about overall wood. Wood is tight. Very, very tight. And again, if they can if they can win by enough, Murder Inc. will get the wood. If Francisic strikes here, it is the game, it is the set, it is the match, it is the wood. It is everything. Shot coming oh, out, oh, ball's got a oh, hook. Yeah. It does, big oh, shot from Brent Tisha. Oh. Garden Foundation, that is probably a 20 point Ooh, shot right there. The Garden Ooh, Foundation man. will get the Ooh, win. They may not win the series over here, they probably won't, they got blown out game two. Damn, but they will get the hit. wood overall, the overall wood, and that should give them the match. If Ducky's math is correct, and I believe it's gonna be. You never know, until you know. <laughs> In the words of Mac, you know you know. in the words of Machiavelli, you never know until you know. What did I say? I knew. You, knew. you never know until you know. Who knew? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, 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 hey Mac they know. You though. never knew. He knew. They know. <laughs> <laughs> and they assuming know. that Brent Tisha gets at least six here, and he will. That's enough. I know. And it doesn't matter if it's PA or not. The game's over. You gotta go scoreboard over here. And, or that that was an academic yeah, beat the ball in the lane shot. Premature, premature, uh, uh, premature celebration. Yeah, yeah, you don't need it. Yeah, he didn't need it. He just needed to get more than six. Nine is good. Nine's the win. So I, I'm gonna wait for Ducky and uh, and Renee to confirm this for me, but I believe it is gonna be eight, two, and eight. I believe so. It's either gonna be sixteen. 20, either they got two or four. I know they didn't get the series. So it's either going to be 26 or 28. I believe that's going to be the total. And well, regardless, it's going to be in favor of the Garden Foundation. So uh, you struggled a little bit here. It's not the host performance that I'm used to, but you guys pulled it out in the clutch. Talk to me. I struggled in the, I struggled in the middle part of the second game, but I made a ball change going into the third. But I, tried to, 
I wasn't trying to square it, trying to get a little right, I tried to get the ball to curve in the back. So that was the main thing about winning. But the main thing about winning the match is making our spares. Spares is the key, no matter how to get the strikes, you get the splits, you get the wood, that's it. That's how I look at it. Did you take the season back from murder season? No, no, no. Not by long shot. They, they didn't have a lot of their guys they should have had.